Okay, it's gonna be a little hard to coordinate because I gotta have my tablet on the desk and my. Hi, baby. Welcome. How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh god, I'm nervous. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember the last time I've drawn well. People have like actively looked at what I am creating. Stinky, never. I think I can this a little better. There we go. Maybe it's bigger. Yeah, it's never like that many chats, so it's right there. But yeah, it'll be my first little arty stream today. It's the new Radiant Valor player <laughs> that carried every game and I, yes, that's me. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely bring back Valo. Uh, definitely not that good. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Hi, can we are today? Hi, Valo Night! Yeah! Some AK fart, y'all! Ah, I literally, I had to go dig my tablet out of a box. Like, I mean, clearly it's in, like, its actual box, um, but, like, I had to go dig it out of a box <laughs> because I haven't used it in, like, so long. Um, it's also gonna take me a little bit to get used to the program again because I haven't used the program in a pretty long time. What will I be drawing today? Who knows? Digging for tablets, yeah. And she's, like, a good tablet. She's lasted me a forever. <laughs> I think uh, it's easily at least a 10 year old tablet. Honestly, it's probably more like like a 15 year old tablet. Warm up drawings. We'll see what I do. We'll see. We'll see. But I made it. Ta-da! You guys can like watch. So, but yeah, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to uh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> the program again and everything. Uh, and just the feel of a tablet because like, I mean growing up I did mostly paper which I think is like what most people did um, Also, let me know if the music's too loud. I haven't figured out how you do the thing where you have like your own music So on like a different track so it doesn't stay on twitch I don't know if that would like work on YouTube. So this is like another like DMCA free little little playlist I found It also sucks because I washed my uh, mat today my like my um mouse pad and stuff and i did it like four hours ago and they're still kind of wet so i don't have that so i have a piece of paper under my mouse <laughs> acting as my mouse pad for today which is fine the tablet can also act as like a like, oh, well obviously i have white on right now but i can go like Wee! you know did it die like did it actually die huh what do you mean did it died for like why? I didn't even get any kind of warning on my end. Like, I did not see the, the rate or anything uh, move at all. Why did it die? Okay, um, shoot, I got the thing. Let me close out of, uh, that's closed. Let me, uh, let me turn off Vanguard and then make sure the Riot client's also closed. I don't know why that would be affecting it, but that's weird that it died. That's not a great sign. Uh... Yeah, probably, I probably altered. I mean, I'm, I'm back on my original Wi-Fi. Like I was telling you guys, I still, I have to do more messing with it. I really want to make the new internet work because it's just so much cheaper but i i don't um i generally don't know if i'm going to be able to make it work or not which really sucks because i really don't want to be paying 90 dollars for wi-fi i'll be honest i mean i back a little let's see i think i have everything open today and i'm supposed to have open i'll put myself up a little bit uh so yeah i don't know i, I will just see where the world of art takes me it's just like super awkward to have to hold the tablet again because i've not held a tablet or held this tablet in like forever i have it like in my lap right now which i know is not like super ideal but uh yeah i don't know <laughs> now i'll show you my my classic go-to little doober here i'll put my blue on uh what size am i on 50 huh do 15. It's a classic little guy I like to do. 
Oh lord, where's the undo? Control shit bugger. There's a better way to do this. Oh god. What will you do when it's stand time? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do if you guys make me stand up. Huh? Oh no, I clicked the way. I wanna be on the lip. Okay, wait. But I like to do this little goober a lot. He's a pretty blue little goober. I go like whoop. And I go like whoop. And he's got little nubs. The little hands. He's a pretty good guy. I like to do him. Oh, you do different variations of him. You got bigger eyes. You can have a ooh little face. He's not as good though. I like the the OG guy. He's pretty good. I can give him a little fairy one too. There you go. <laughs> oh, welcome you too. Bye. -bye. This is a scuffed uh, Kerbo, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, he's got a little hat and stuff too. <laughs> he's supposed to be like, there's like the, what's the guy? He does like little, oh, what's, he does so many funny little videos. He has like this Kerbo that's like a big fan of uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I like his stuff. I'm just tuned in, how are y'all? Hello, welcome, Graham Cackler, welcome. Oh, I like to do that little Kirby. Yeah, those videos. Oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Also, sorry if I'm kind of quiet. I just, I gotta lounge back to hold the tablet because I don't really have room on my desk for uh, uh, tablet and keyboard and mic. So I still haven't figured out my uh, problems with the mic arm. It's gonna be a day. We do the classic anime kid eye. Gar angry how's your day been I, it's been okay there's something i'm trying to get like ready for the one year anniversary that i'm not um i don't know I, it's not turning out the way i want it to and it's definitely more of a, a me problem than it is anything else but it's still kind of bumming me out um i'm still gonna make it work but i'm not like super thrilled with the uh, how it's panning out and I'm gonna have to probably like pivot from my original idea of like, what I want to do which like it sucks but you know there's not like really anything else you can do about it unfortunately it is what it is how would this one look like 3d would be more like this hmm yeah, it's something I have to sit and think, but I also can't like sit and think too long. It's one of those things I gotta make the decision on uh, what I'm gonna do kind of fast, unfortunately, because there's only so much time. Like, it feels like there's a lot of time still left until the anniversary, but I mean, it's already April. And like, technically, yeah, the anniversary's basically like June-ish, but uh, yeah, it's one of those things I gotta I gotta make a decision uh, sooner rather than later on what I'm gonna do, and I'm not super <laughs> excited about what I'm probably gonna have to do. I'll make a little puppy dog, little bow wow, little legs, got little legs. It is soon, so that's why I wanna uh, make it work. I just. I think I'm gonna have to pivot from what my initial idea was, which really sucks because I was really excited about it, but I think right now with my time and my current uh, skill level, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> uh, which, like, stinks, but I mean, it is what it is, right? I'll draw an airplane tail. Because we love to hear those during the stream. It's an airplane. I get the wrist kind of loose, just kind of goober doodle in. Is it for the year? Well, so the thing is, I'm not like trying to spoil it. I think if you guys use your brain, you can figure out what I'm hinting at. I already have other stuff in place for the thing. And it's too late for me to like change those parts of it. So I have to make it work, but I might have to change the end vision like a lot, unfortunately. 
Here, let's make a classic anime kiddo with the anime eyes and the smile and the, the hair. There you go. We got the neck, right? Then we got the, oh, the shoulders. And then we do the classic, uh, I don't want to draw hands. So we hide it behind the back sort of thing. <laughs> Why is he sideways? Oh, I don't know what I did. Uh, here, he's got little feet. What an anime kid. Give him a tank top. To show off his uh, big bulging uh, muscles that we definitely have here. Look at these muscles. Muscles. There you go. <laughs> That's all gotta do what you're able to do. Things at. Uh, we'll see. It's something I have fun doing as like a little side project for VTubing, but I don't see it ever becoming something I focus on. Which is fine, like everybody has things they're good at and everybody has things they're not like good at. Um, it just kind of stinks because, uh, I don't know, I guess I thought I was better at what it was than I am. I still have fun with it, but I think it's going to become something I do super rarely. Because also it's kind of expensive, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's like kind of expensive. So uh, I figure I'm gonna not do it super often. Uh, it just kind of stinks because like I all I all I do is yap about anime, <laughs> which is fine. But it's kind of stinks because some uh, like there's a lot of VTubers that have like more skills than just yapping, and uh, clearly I'm not a pro gamer, so. Uh, I don't got too many other skills going on in the, the closet over here. I'll figure out something, but uh, it would be nice if I had something else I was like a kind of good at. Unfortunately, I do not have. What else can we do to fill up space so I can get warmed up? I'll make a flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And a flag? What else can we throw on here? It's kind of goobery. <laughs> this guy's so fucked up. <laughs> Here, we'll put a pocket so it's not like, oh, it's hiding behind him, it's in his pocket. Give him like a patch on his jeans and stuff. Watch, somebody that actually does art is gonna come in here and be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> welcome, Chris, welcome. But like, you're Jack did a Roblox? No! Yeah, I don't have to be pro at everything. I've always, like, I'm, I've accepted that. I know there's people that they have way more, like, there's people that have inherent talent, but they still also develop the skill that they get to be, uh, like, better and stronger. And I've always wanted to do that, but I've never really had a lot of opportunities to, like, develop or do stuff better. Uh, so, like, obviously art. Like, I used to draw a lot when I was younger because, uh, like as a kid you're not like as hypercritical of yourself and you have a lot more free time and stuff but not really any uh anymore so it's one of those things that i'd like to get back into art and i do have fun when i draw i'm just like not that good at it which is okay yapping ability is unique though i am good at yapping i'm good at talking <laughs> but who knows if that's a that's a hallmark thing that i should be excited that i'm a good yapper there you go here's a woman there you go. Put a head on her. Get some some stuff going on. Holy. <laughs> then you go like this, and then she whamming. You give her little arms. I like it. Castle. Thank you. I'm like the Vinky, dude. <laughs> The goal was I was gonna try and at least draw myself because uh, I have really old sketches that I sent Cyan like horrible ones of like a rough idea because they were mostly about my goggles because I was really worried that the goggles were like not gonna get translated well because like okay let's, let's let's just throw a person on here right pretend it's a person right so the whole plan with the goggles was always to be like they come up a little they come down a little and they're supposed to be kind of dome-esque right from the front and then here's the little holes and then these are supposed to be kind of like like 3d ah, so they pop off right hi i have to shower baby back okay thank you absent and then from the side right like here's a side person and then from the side 
It's supposed to like dome up like this. But I think Cyan did a really good job emulating my idea. And so then you could see they're more like 3D this way sort of thing. Why is there a butt on my screen? Oh. I like drawing when I was younger. Yeah, I'll see. Uh, maybe I could find some old ones. Um, I mean, there's some old drawings I have that I like. I could even just try and bring those up and just trace over them. Cheeky, I can draw a butt cheek. Hook. Hook. There we go. That's a butt. Get them cheeks going. <laughs> Watch me get like banned. Not my hair, no. Watch me get a temp ban for these cheekies being too cakey'd up. Uh, I got some shoes going that way. A little too cakey for Twitch, perhaps. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. Wait, let's put a little shine on it, too. It's a bare butt. <laughs> if you want to see my art, I can link you the video. I do disturbing sketches. Oh, uh, you're free to link anything in the Discord and stuff. Um, just probably if you're like, if it's something like, it's better to err on the side of caution and just probably put stuff in NSF because NSF's also like, uh, uh, like violence and stuff too. Not just, uh, not just, uh, like schmexy NSF. Don't drop the soap, chicky. I've only made a couple good ones so far. Point six point sixty seven hours. Oh my god! Touch me, tangle for the redeem, tangle jungle. You guys want me to draw? Want me to draw an Among I could draw an Among And then you go like this. Oh, it's a little too flat. But there's an Among right? And you go like boom, 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 boom. I like mine to have funky feet, and then you give them a little backpack. And then what do they have? They have eggs on their head sometimes. You put a little egg on them, something like that. They have hands, but only when they kill, right? They don't normally have hands, right? They're like usually like this. Boom, 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 boom. Not violent, more like nightmare fuel. Probably still put it in a something. What else can I draw? I could draw a minion. I could draw a little minion. Do you have a double eye minion? I think the single eye minions are really creepy, I'm not gonna lie. He's got little goggles, he's got little beady eyes. Well, somebody's gonna comment and be like, what is going on? <laughs> they got like, what, three fingers, right? Here we go. I think they got three fingers. They built like a brick house, kind of. They might have four fingers now that I think about it, but for some reason I'm thinking it's uh it's uh uh <laughs> what do you mean? He's so nice. <laughs> what does he nightmare feel? He's just a little guy. He seems nice. You can be friends with him. <laughs> uh what art we have made so far. Just trying to get uh, used to the tablet again. It's been a little bit. Here, I'll do a corner sun too, but I'll have it in the bottom corner. I love him. Thank you. He's so nice. He's a little guy. What does shoes do they wear? Do they wear boots? I think they wear like boots. So he's got like a little boots on. And I think this is on a pocket if I remember right. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> something, something like that. But yeah, my plan is I'll pull up a, a reference of AK Desu and then I'm gonna, or I guess I can look at myself on the screen. But there's a way I know you can in clip that I can't uh, remember how to do it right now where I can go to like, uh, there's something in here where I can like put a reference directly into the program that I don't remember how to do. I don't really feel like looking it up right now, so... Uh, that's the sun that people were staring at. <laughs> Apparently there was some glasses. I think this happens pretty often actually when there's some kind of eclipse that they get called back and stuff. Um, and so I think 
Uh, mine were not the ones that got called back, thankfully, but I know there are some people they got the ones that uh, were called back. And so, but they said in some places they had a uh, people that um, like it was the whole path of the eclipse. There was a really high search thing for um, like eyes hurt or eyes burn after the eclipse or something kind of crazy like that. That's kind of crazy. Do -dee -do -dee -do. Yeah, I'll make him angry too with big eyebrows. There we go. Someone just posted that image in the Discord server I'm in tune. <laughs> Search terms, yeah. It was along like the whole path. And then I think in a couple of months, somebody was saying that it's supposed to happen for like South America too. So if you have any like South America friends, probably uh, tell them all about it. I missed the eclipse because of clouds. Yeah, I heard there's people. It stinks because I know there's people that uh, like lived in like some of the places that were supposed to get like a high turnout, like Texas and stuff. And they where they were was like zero uh, zero view or anything. So it really sucks. I mean, especially if you were in the path of like the totality to miss it. Um, that would really suck. Or baroni, I guess. Um, I'll warm up just a little more, and then I'm gonna try my bestest. Try my bestest, guys. My eyes hurt. I do wonder why. Oh yeah, sorry, but I was like I was saying. So some of the glasses like got recalled um because they actually were um improper like they weren't the right protection and stuff but and those posts were only going around when the eclipse was like live so ripperoni and then i saw another post and somebody was posting like their mom was <laughs> watching the eclipse and then i guess their mom was using i guess they also make them for like fireworks those kind of like paper uh, lenses and stuff for people that maybe are like light sensitive and stuff. So they have firework ones that are, um, I gotta sit up, that are, ah, sorry, let me, uh, let me fix this, that are meant just for fireworks. And there's people, I guess, that they were trying to use those for the eclipse, but the, it's like a clear film. It's not like the super heavy duty film that you need for the eclipse ones. Um, so it's kind of crazy. <gasps> a work on my Skebby was delivered. Hmm. Oh, Momento streamy. I gotta go see what this is. Maybe it's the mascot that I commissioned. That'd be really cool if it was, because then I could show you guys. If it's not, then that's something I gotta hold on to. We made janky reflective box of our trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people did those. Um, I also saw too, you could use like a colander, like a like a strainer for pasta and stuff. And it would um, deliver it. Oh, okay. I can't show you guys this one yet. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh. Yes. Okay, this one's secret. This is one I have in progress for the the fucking uh, the uh, the one year. You guys can't see this one yet. It looks so good. Oh. It's fucking god. Don't show on stream. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yes. Oh, that makes my little heart feel better today because my little heart was a little hurty today. <laughs> Part of me was almost like, do I want to do the art stream today too and get more hurt? <laughs> I'm not saying y'all would, I'm just saying. Okay, I gotta open this. Okay, well, don't open on streamy. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god, oh, it's so cute! Oh my god, oh my god! Okay, so it's not the mascots I commissioned. It's very cute though, I like it a lot. You guys are also going to like it a lot. Well, I wish the mascot one would get done though. I figured that's gonna take super, like, a long time. Because I commissioned somebody, I showed you guys before on stream their stuff. Um, and they do... Um, just fix the hurt. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bit, Devin. And well, it helps a little bit. It's something I just, it stinks because it's something I have to make a decision pretty much by like tomorrow what I'm going to do about it. Um, because there's a lot of construction happening around me. And so sometimes the internet on top of being bad is like even worse. So 
It's one of those things that I need to decide like sooner rather than later what I want to do. Um, so I can just like be done with it. Um, but yay! Yeah, I figure the mascot person is going to take a little bit because uh, it's going to be hard coming up with little, little, little creatures, little creature guys. They have a while though. They have until, what's the seventh month? July? They have until July. Um, that's the one thing with Skeb that kind of stinks is you don't really... Stuff happens and you get it when you get it, <laughs> sort of thing. Um, but their stuff is really cute. They do fake amons and mascots and stuff, so... I decided to go with them to try and get a mascot for you guys, because I was, like, really, really struggling. Because I had, like, uh, here. Mines. Like, one, like, obviously the easiest thought for my brain hole... Oh god, I hit the stream deck. Don't try to activate it, too. Obviously, it's be a little shrimp guy for you guys. Whoa, extra shrimpage, right? <laughs> it's some extra shrimpage. Oh, uh, they have like little legs and stuff, huh? That's all. <laughs> I think they have like a little antenna things too now. So like, obviously, the easiest thing to do would be like a little shrimpy guy. Oh, here we go. That's how you make it look like shrimp. He's got like sections. But obviously, like, if I did that, we had this discussion before how, like, Gara has little shrimp and Shy Lily has little, like, shrimpy guys. So even though you guys are the crawfish, and crawfish are like shrimp, they're, like, more aggressive. They got, like, pincers and stuff. They're, I'm trying to remember what a crawfish looks like. They kind of look like, I know they have, like, more of, like, a, not a full diamond, but, like, kind of a head like that. And, like, a body. <laughs> Something like this, right? Kind of, sort of. They also have like little beady eyes and some kind of antenna things and some legs. And also like a tail thing and then they're also like kind of segmented. But anyway, that's like basically what a crawfish looks like. But it's basically in the same family as like a shrimp. So that's why we, I didn't do uh yeah, they're like baby lobsters. So that's why I didn't want to just do that because I knew the second I would People would be like, um, actually, uh, you know, Shy Lily and like Gara already have a shrimp. And I'd be like, I know. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> but to avoid all that drama, that's why I didn't do it. So I don't know what the person's gonna come up with. For a little while, I thought about doing, um, I cooked welcome. I thought about doing what my goggles are based on, which is like a barrel eye fish. This is like kind of what they look like. They're like little lipsy, like boo boo. They like kind of look like this. I don't remember exactly what their like fins and stuff look like. And then they got these little, these look like fake eyes, right? They got these little dudes. And then they have these big globe little balls in their head. And so, but these are like their actual eyes. And then these are false eyes. These little nubbies and stuff. Um, so, but these are really cool because they're like ocular eyes. So they have a lot more like movement and rotation and stuff. And they're like more like a translucent me kind of color. Um, so that's what my goggles are based on is a barrel eye fish with the, the eyeball and stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, but it's because they're like a deep sea like fish and stuff, right? Um, yeah, so it's like the like, little deep sea guys. He turned out pretty good. I like his little face up here. I like what I did with his little eyes where he's like this little. I like this. He's like a little schmelty kind of. Like a little little meow, little meowster. <laughs> little meow meow, little puppies. Uh, I, I obviously don't draw animals right. I was not a warrior cat kid, so I did not gain the draws animals good gene. I also did not pick up many draws good genes. <laughs> so, I also don't like chibis either. I'm not a big chibi person. Oh, this looks like that monkey. What's that monkey? Here's the monkey I'm talking about. He likes a big smile and stuff. What's that monkey's name? You guys know the monkey. He's got like black eyes and stuff. What's that monkey's name? He's like a like a company brand monkey. What's his name? I'm gonna Google it. Monkey brand. Brand. Paul Frank. Okay, I remember his lips wrong. But this is I was going for Paul Frank. Paul Frank apparently looks more like. He's got like this still, but he's got like a big like it like that. And then he's got like a section of him that's like black here for his I guess fur. I guess monkeys have fur, right? This is the guy I was envisioning. 
but I didn't remember what his uh, <laughs> his mouth looks like. <laughs> I don't know that monkey. That's not my monkey, officer. I don't know that monkey. <laughs> now it kind of looks like a fucked little Pokemon. <laughs> I did not get the warrior cat kids uh, buff, I'm not gonna lie. Did I draw a Pikachu? I could draw a Pikachu, probably. How long have I been warming up? For like 30 minutes? Okay, I'll warm up for a little longer. Pikachu when he's like down, and he's like, yum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guys, little eyeballs. Got little cheeks. Little nose. Oh god, those cars! Why'd I do that? <laughs> well, just keep the curse going. I don't know, we'll make him extra crazy. <laughs> oh no, what did I do? <laughs> it started off as Pikachu. How did we how did we end up here? <laughs> oh no. Oh lord. <laughs> how did it get so bad so bad? I forgot like he has a little button nose, doesn't he? I thought I thought Pikachu had a little button nose. I was trying to go for her. <laughs> Somebody should take my tablet away from me. Here, I'll make him angry. I'll make it even better with the big eyebrows. Sonic Chew? Now, let's make him, you know what? Let's give him like little legs. <laughs> there you go, now he's running. Ooh, look at that guy go. <laughs> he's zooming. There you go, I got speed lines. So you guys can tell he's like moving. I'm gonna give him like thigh high little Gucci boots too with a little heel. There you go. Is this supposed to be shoelaces? Don't worry. <laughs> God, is so sick. He's trying his best, you know? Here, I'll give him a little tube top too so he's not so cold. I'm gonna get stripies. Mm -hmm. You guys thought you were coming to a good art stream? Absolutely not. <laughs> what else can we doodle to scar the children? Mm -hmm. Draw a little, a little rice ball. I don't know, this, little, this guy came out pretty good. I kind of like him. He gets a check of approval, I think. Oh my god, are they searching for somebody again? I do not know why there's been so much like air activity lately. It's been a lot. It's been like a lot, a lot. I got a little mouse. Look a mousey. Those ears are kind of like this. Look at the whiskers. And we got uh, little feet with a little mouse. Little hands, some little tail. There you go, he's cute. Give him a little some cheese. I got some bad news. I dropped the soap. Uh oh. Why aren't they coming up on my restream tab anymore, huh? I see what you guys are saying on like the stream chat, but my like restream feed is not showing. Oh, okay. Well, I see that one, but absence message didn't load. That's weird. Yeah, I'll give him a little cheese. Let's give him some cheese. So he's not so hungry. A little cheese for a little mouse. Next thing I know, the bubbles are behind me. I knew it was Jover. Oh, good. Got a little Swiss cheese block. There you go. A little cheese for a little mouse. Got like the inside of his ears. You can probably see a little from here, too. From <laughs> your prison wall. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can recreate that. Well, I don't know what's allowed. Here's a shower. Psh, psh, psh. Here's absent. And then he's like bent over trying to get the soap. And then he's like, oh! With like a little exclamation point. And then here's the bubbles. And then they got evil eyebrows because they have heinous plans in mind for you. <laughs> is that is this a, an accurate re recreation of the events that uh, unfolded? <laughs> Bubble Man from SpongeBob. It could be, it could be Bubble Man from SpongeBob.
watch. Somebody's gonna come in here because they're like, oh, that's so cool. Somebody's doing art today. And then they're gonna see this. They're gonna be like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> I put it on the art category because that's what we're doing. I just don't know if that's like the smart thing to do or not. I don't know what most of the other people that I know that like uh, art, if they use the art category, if they just use the chatting. Like some of them I can see are arting. There's like real people arting right now. So I guess using the art tag is okay. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. What else can I draw for you guys before we uh, get into the real stuff? I'm gonna leave a little up. I don't know, I'm gonna leave a little up. And then we let the little crown on top. I'm gonna put a little smiley on him. A little smiley makes everything better. See my little my little mess up Kirby's. I don't think they look as good with the cute little smile. I think they look better with the little uh, with the little, especially when they're like crushed like this. Especially when the mouth is like outside the circle. I think they work really good because <laughs> he's like ah. I think it works really good. All right, she thanks. Do you like this one? This one's pretty good. <laughs> We have two uh, two pages of art I've created so far. This is the first page. We went we went ham on this one. <laughs> we're having a we're having a good time. I'm also just delaying the inevitable of having to actually try and draw because I haven't tried and drawn in a while. Well, I was trying to do Pikachu, and then we started here, and then I put a little doop because I thought he had a little like little button nose, and that didn't work. And I was like, "Well, it's already fucked, so I might as well just make it as fucked as possible." <laughs> That's what I came up with in my in my brain. I came up with uh with that as my uh, uh art of the day, I guess. God, I wanna oh Yasumina saw dude. It's gonna be me tonight. Oh wait, let me there you go. It's gonna be me tonight under the covers. Get a little schmear on. <coughs> it looks good, it's an original. Thank you. Everything you see on screen will be for sale. Bidding starts at five hundred dollars. <laughs> that'll that'll be me tonight. What are those bubbles? This is my butt. My bootylicious. I keep telling you guys I'm caked up on the bottom and the top, but you guys don't believe me. And there's my cakes on the top too. <laughs> We're full circle. Here, I'll get my, I don't have legs. There you go. Does that help with the seeing what you, the vision? Does that help? Here's my arm, it's like dangling. <laughs> I'm always double caked up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What else can we doodle while I'm putting off the inevitable? My little dumpling guy. Here, we'll do some still life. I'm gonna I'm look at him. I'm gonna do my best to doodle him. He's a little round guy. And that kind of all like nubs up here. And then there's like ridging over here to make it look like he's uh, getting pulled in to the folds. I remember in art class, like my, the biggest thing the teacher would say, he's like, when you're drawing something, he's like, it's always best to spend 70% of your time studying your, uh, your subject, and then like 30% of the time actually looking at the paper. Yeah, that's my little dumpling guy. He also lights up. So I'm like, ah. Let's him lit up. Thanks. He's just a little guy. Just a little guy. But yeah, see, like, I just stared at that for like 20 seconds when I did that. But yeah, it's like something, something. It's supposed to be easier if you, uh, care. Oh, hi, Vero. Hi, no. Hello, V sibling. How you doing? Don't, 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 don't mind. Don't, don't mind, uh, don't mind all of this. <laughs> we decided to finally do an art stream. We could sell that. I'm telling you guys, everything on screen is at, for auction here. 
Well, we'll start the bidding at 500 for the first Kerbo over here. This guy, he's a uh, $500. This one, he's not as good, so I will, uh, I like your silly doodles, thank you. <laughs> We're doing some really bad warm up because it's been a very long time since I uh, actually tried drawing, so I'm just kind of dicking around right now. Well, hello, all hollow eyes. Oh, yeah. This one's not as good. I'll say I'll sell this one for 150. I'll give you guys a discount. Um, let's see what else can we sell for a high value. Oh, this 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 part right here, the cakeness. That this is two thousand dollars. Uh, and that one's oh wait, this is a. Uh, this is the piece de resistance. Okay, this one he starts at ten k. Any any bidders right now in chat? Can I make these in the <laughs> if you want to make any of these shitty things in emotes, <laughs> feel free, feel free. This guy, cause I might run well, I could run to copyright issues with the minion, but you know whatever. Coming for you, sloth. Five k for the Amongi. And our reject Roblox guy. What should we sell him for? We'll do we'll do seven fifty. I'm not feeling him as much, so he's seven fifty. I think, I think, I think those are fair pricing. The rest, I don't think are my best works. Bro, that's a Chad. <laughs> I like the barrel eye, dude. I did really good just sketching him really fast. I also helm for, uh, no. Ow, what did I do? Here we go. I'll sell him for maybe like 2k. I like him a lot. How much for everything? <laughs> I see. Hmm. Okay, well, this page... So this page is probably at least 20 grand worth of worth of art. <laughs> and then this other page, because we're still not done, the price on this one could increase. We'll say for now, because of this beautiful self-portrait here, it's at least probably like 10k for this page as well. <laughs> Eventually I'll get to some real trying art. I just have not drawn in a while. I had to go dig my tablet out of a, a box that I had it in because I haven't used it in such a long time. And then like technically I have a little scroll thing on the tablet so I can do this to zoom in. Like that's what I, I have to get used to the buttons again. Here I'll make a, here I'll make some music. Music's always easy to draw. You can like, does it matter if it's right? Nope, because I don't read music. <laughs> And then you go like ding, 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 ding. And then there's the oh, oh, I can do this from memory. It looks like this, and then it goes like this, kind of like that. A little treble clef thing for us. You guys don't get two different stream things at once. You guys, you pick and choose what you get. There's what five bars? No, four, right? Because then it goes one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's four. Okay, I know that much. I remember that much from school. There you go, I got you guys some music notes. This turned out pretty good. This is not a treble cleft in the slightest, but that turned out pretty good. Can I choose a singing art stream? No. <laughs> you guys don't get both. You get one. <laughs> we, have, we have not unlocked karaoke. Actually, initially, because uh, again, spoilers, I guess, I'm doing a mini, like not a uncapped, we're doing a, a capped subathon for the one year anniversary. And initially, I did have um, art streams as a goal from the subathon, and then I kind of was just really feeling it. I don't know why. Um, so I brought them earlier than I was going to. Initially, it was gonna be like I'm gonna be honest, a pretty high goal. <laughs> I think uh, Madari and I are brainstorming a little more, but I think I have most of the goals figured out. I'm gonna let it sit for like another week. Um, I just also have to check if you can get subs past your like current follower count because I have I have some I made goals go pretty high because I've heard people suggest all the time it's better to go more than you think you're gonna get because you could get surprised. I'm not saying you guys need to do anything. I'm just saying that's what I've like seen people say is it's better to uh, like go for more then you think you might get just to be safe. So that's kind of what I'm doing. A little scuffed little uh, whale shark guys. He's like 
sucking in the, the shrampies. They got little spots all over them, and then they kind of got like a like a ridging sort of thing going on. It's a real scuffed whale shark. <laughs> He's real scuffed. <laughs> Other animals can I draw? The vacuum with So yeah, they eat like a like uh plankton and like kelpie kind of stuff. They don't like eat anything crazy. It seems like a basking shark. Basking sharks kind of look scarier though, because basking sharks kind of got like a little schnoz. So they have like really big mouths. And then you can like, with the way they are, so like here's their gills. So you can like see the, the through their gills, through the outside. So like here's like a little fish on the outside um, when they're when they're chowing down. So basking sharks do look a little, uh, scarier than uh whale sharks for sure but they do the same thing they just like suck up like kelp and stuff can you draw a lemon that has a face of an egg oh like a twelve. let's see my first initial thought is to have him laying down because he's sad it's a really long lemon but that's okay then we got he's like gooping a little He's got a yolk that's like goopy. He's a little sad. Little egg lemon man. He's got little legs. He's kicking around. He's like, oh, woe is me. <laughs> He's like, woe is me. Born a lemon egg. There you go. <laughs> He's pretty goofy. He's pretty good. I was gonna draw a stingray. That's why I was gonna draw. Stingrays are really cute. I'm like, meow. Stingrays aren't hard to draw. And this is a cow nose. They got like noses like that. And then you got like little flappies back here. And here's the stingy. And then they got little eyeballs. Very cute. Very cute. And their mouth's actually on the other side. So, like, uh, here I'll show you. So, if I draw another one, meow. It's not gonna go as good, but that's okay. Meow. A little nubbies. Little ray, little tail. Poor lemon, he needs a friend. You can be friends with a stingray. No, 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 he's fine. He's not getting eaten by a bath, I'm sure. So, but like stingrays, their mouths are actually on the underside. They're really cool. So their mouths are about here. And then so are their gills. They're also like right around here. So usually if you go to like an aquarium or something, um, that has like a stingray touching pool, that's usually why they want you to just exclusively touch like their, uh, their backs because you could run the risk of like damaging their gills if you touch underside. Plus, while they don't have like like nang, 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 they don't have like those. They have like they're like basically sheets, right? Little, little buck tooth kind of guy. But the sheets grind against each other. But they are so powerful, like they could take your finger off. Because <laughs> um, they eat like a lot of like things on the floor, which can be like mollusk and things like that, like shelled creatures. So they have to have a pretty strong jaw to like get through them. So yeah. Also, if you pet stingrays, just pet the top of them. Little two finger scientific touch, as the kids say. Just very gentle little touch, gently like pet them. That's usually really social, especially like so like cow nose ones are the ones I worked with when I was at the aquarium. Super social. We had one guy, right? Here I'll paint a picture for you guys. So big ass room right like huge so this is their big old tank and they go like meow, 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 all under right and so then you have like also a platform up here so people could like look down on them and be like oh my god thing is right but people could also come up to the pool stick their little gooby hands in there we had one guy this one little <laughs> little ray so he would so here's a like a side view i guess so he would be swimming around and he'd love to do this thing where he'll come up and he'll just stick his fin up here and he'll just smack it against the wall. He'll go like bang, 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 <laughs> because he wants attention. <laughs> he'll just keep slapping the wall until somebody comes and pets him. That's really funny. It was really cute. So he would just, uh, it's kind of scary at first though, because like, especially if you're not used to like being around like stingrays and that kind of stuff, you just hear this slap, 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 slap <laughs> against the wall but it was pretty good they just they like to come and hang out and sometimes he'd even like poke his little head like up and be like hello please come like pet me because he's just like a little guy and he just wants like a little pet very cute little guys i like stingrays they're a little slimy i guess is the best way to put it they're smarter than they seem yeah yeah, yeah. like 
some of them like are super social like uh, i think like there's a lot of creatures that are like that that they're more social than people think they are or a lot smarter than people think they are um oh wow beautiful art <laughs> uh so but yeah they're pretty they're pretty smart they know what they want they know when it's feeding time like you know like things like that okay i guess it's time to start the real deal huh uh, la, 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 la. Ah, don't make me ball no no i don't like that one what did i used to use is it the pens what is this? I have a bunch of brushes downloaded that I don't remember what they all do. This one's kind of cool. And then you can, uh, and don't bet my bulges. You can see when I use different pressures on the tablet, like it'll come out, like I'm pressing harder here and then I can light up and stuff. So depending on the ta like the pressure I use, I can also get different like um, line depth. No! Um, but yeah, and then like these are other brushes that I have downloaded and stuff. Um, so and they could do all sorts of really cool different things like there's a lot of people that make uh, brushes so like this one you could use for like a necklace or something if you want to um, it says it's a bone but it could be kind of whatever um, but I just download some every now and then are like free I don't really do anything with them because when I was more actively drawing I always had trouble integrating the brushes and stuff into what i was drawing so for example here let me make this like way bigger like that's really cool you can do like so much cool stuff with that but i always had like problems like i think it's supposed to be like a snake i would say it's fishnet but you could do that for like snake scales or something too um like this too this could also be like a like a snake belly but I always had issues uh, trying to figure out how to uh, integrate it into like what you were drawing and stuff. I just always had issues with that. I think what I actually liked using, oh, there's pastels and stuff too. I think it was a pen, I think. Was it the G pen? Oh yeah, I think it was the G pen. The issue with the G pen is like, cause it's a pen, it's, you gotta be really careful with how you, uh, how much pressure you put. Um, what is that? Okay, well it's gone now, however it is. I still think we're sketching. I, I like, I don't know. I know other people can do better sketching than I do, but I still definitely do some rough sketching. There's more in here I downloaded. There were some really cool like braid brushes. What is this one? Huh? Oh, wow. I think it's supposed to look like, okay, well, let me <laughs> let's make it. And then this is the other thing with some of these brushes, you have to be like on a super big canvas size for you to use them and it like makes sense. So this is supposed to be blush, I think. So that's the other thing with some of these. You have to be careful because if you're not on like the right size canvas or something, then it's like not going to work. So I think I'm going to stick to the pencils for now. There's also these paint brushes and stuff too that I also have. So you can do like. Oh, uh, it's the blender. Huh? Why are these not playing? Huh? Why are these not like putting on the. There you go. But they also have like paint brushes and stuff you can use. Like, there's a whole lot of different things you can use. And these are just. Most of these are just the ones that are already um, included on Clip. Uh, I bought Clip a while ago, like they do sales pretty often. I know people are kind of uh, not in the bestest of friends with Clip right now because they added like a subscription service. Technically you can still like do stuff with Clip without uh, subscribing and stuff, uh, which is what I have. Like I just have the one time payment thing for um, uh, Kick and stuff. Not Kick, sorry, uh, Clip. Um, Oh, yeah, clearly I don't like play with this stuff a lot too much. And there's like markers and stuff. Uh, but I think I'm gonna stick to the pencil, I think. Yeah. I think that works better for me. Did I use a darker pencil? No. Did I use a lighter? Oh, that's really big. Now, what pencil did I use? Was it rough? 
I'm trying to remember what I used to use when I would sketch a lot. Maybe it was a tapered pencil. Yeah, that was it. Hmm. And you can do a lot more like fine tuning with the brush settings, but again, because I don't like draw very often, I don't really mess with those that much. Because I just I I don't see the point myself because I'm like not really gonna if I was trying to do art more as like a career, and I mean I would have I should have spent my time during the pandemic, like I don't know, getting and practicing more art and I didn't, but I also had a like I thankfully had a job during it, so I was really tired and exhausted from work because it's when I worked at the the COVID testing place during the pandemic, so I was like really exhausted like a lot of the time. <laughs> so I uh, did not um, have like as much free time as I kind of wish I had had. Okay, because I can't remember I had to pull up references and clip. There's a way you can add like another little I don't remember how to do it right now, but there's a way you can add, like, I can have another little box of, like, a reference thing, like, over he here. I don't remember how to do it. I ain't got the foggiest. Welcome, James. Welcome. Let me just make this smaller, and I can make an artificial reference box. And I don't need to do anything. Oh, oh. I'm gonna put it over here. Maybe on top of chat so I can still ah, see it, but also see you guys. That's me. I just don't feel like time. I have time to draw or do my jobs. Mm -hmm. I just wish I had spent more time during the pandemic because I know there's a lot of people um, that they spend a lot of time getting better and like developing their art skills or other um, skills and talents. And I just kind of wish I had done that. That would have been nice. Okay, don't make fun of my art. <laughs> it's been so long since I've like tried to draw a person. So I have a picture of me. I'm gonna try and get to a picture of me that I'm okay with um, in terms of uh, happiness. So oh, we're gonna work on that first. So. We'll make very rough proportions and then we'll go a little more fine tuning as we go along. I just want to get the basics uh, down. Everybody also does like their uh, sketches and stuff kind of a little differently. Mine's weird because I do like a mix of like a couple different techniques. Doesn't mean I know how any of them work um, or that I'm good at any of them. Uh, but I do like a mix, I guess. Oh no, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing things. And I get about art books over the pandemic too that I wish I had like studied more and stuff so I could have gotten a better understanding of uh, like what I'm supposed to be doing with like art and everything. But uh, definitely did not happen either. You want to see us for proud? You're practicing? No shame. No. I'm trying my best. My Valorant clickbait title worked so well, guys. It has so many uh, views on it. Don't autoplay, don't autoplay. Oh, I did autoplay. You're good. Where am I at? I'm at 95 views on that Valor stream on YouTube. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's now my second most viewed live stream. <laughs> Maybe clipweight is the way to go. <laughs> it's a crack to that. Thank you. Maybe clickbait is the way to go, guys. Maybe it was a clickbait all along. I tell you, I'm gonna do that with other games too. I'm gonna say VTubers first time playing uh, Fork Knife and stuff. <laughs> that worked really well. It was basically my first time playing Valo again after like ages of not playing Valo. So I'm accounted as my first time. Like it's so different. Even like the free to play characters are different because I distinctly remember um, Sky was like a playable character when I uh, first uh, 
uh, was playing it and stuff. Like, I distinctly remember that Sky was a character. And now uh, Sky is not a playable character, which is kind of interesting. Right now I'm kind of like roughly boxing out shapes. I know that's one thing that I uh, used to do. Here's my big egg head that you guys like to point out. And then I get to cheat a little bit and I can hide some stuff. I don't feel like drawing based on the angle I do this, the angle of the angle. And also based on my hair and stuff, sketch of whoever is looking good. You got proportional. Thanks. I'm trying to do myself. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, wait, I want to take my goggles off. Don't panic, guys. I need to see what my bangs look like without their goggles. Ah. They're like roughly, oh, I got like the big bang thing here. So here's the bang section. We're gonna do that bang section. And then it's mostly like this. And then it's got a little sweepy over here. Most of the bang bang over here, bang bang, bang bang bang, okay. And then the sweepy kind of goes like this. And then I got little, little hair, little dubers here. And I got some more, you don't want to make it too big because then it's like you got like a really weird awkward shape for the head. Kind of like, kind of go crazy down here. It's like if you make it too poofy then it looks like really awkward and stuff. Go away planes and shit. I'm so sick of it. I like legitimately don't understand why it has been so much lately. I wish they would stop. Bothering me when I'm trying to stream. The thing is, I don't even think if I did this earlier in the day, it would like change the activity. That's the crazy thing. It's just been so much lately in general. Here's my shit collar bones. And then you got little shoulders. And this one's like a little further back. Oh, I hope Mama Soya doesn't see me butchering myself. <laughs> You gotta come and be like, hey, AK, okay, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing that anymore. Oh shit. No, I can't do this over here. Okay, wait, this should be my erased, right? Yeah. If I switch my pen backwards, it's an erased tool. Like my little stylus. Super nice. Super nice. Give me something to name my file. Stinky poo poo caca. Does that help? And then it's like, you got your little, your bone in your socket right here. I also wish I had taken an anatomy class in uh, college. I think that would have helped with art in general. Maybe not perfectly, but it certainly would have helped with some of the more proportionate stuff. Which is funny, because uh, with my degree, I should have probably definitely taken a fucking uh, anatomy class, but it was not required, so what do I care? And then this is like kind of awkward. So like, then you got your ribs back here, doing rib things, keeping your like body alive and stuff, I guess. <laughs> and doing like rib things, and then bam, caked up back here. <laughs> That's not the proper way to do the cake, not at all. That's okay. Way to doodle in. I'll probably cap it right about here. Personally, that's probably all my brain could take. Then we got boobs. So my character's facing this away a little bit. So, boobies, doobie, I'm boobying. And then, kind of like, I think it's kind of like this on this side, if I remember right. Dizzy mom hips, yes, sir. Oh, my boob, okay, my, my boobies aren't that big. They're like, that's way too big. It's way too big. Ignore that. Don't look at that booby. It's too much. It's too. It's too popping. It's. I don't have. I don't have cinders kind of boobies. <laughs> Hello, Cripshare. Woo! Hello, welcome. But boobs are usually more like a teardrop shape, so it's not like a perfect circle like that. It's usually more like like a teardrop, or like a. That's like a bad one. Like a teardroppy. Kind of a like a water balloony kind of shape. That's usually uh, how boobies be. Sorry guys, if they're perfect spheres, then uh, to be honest, they're probably fake. 
<laughs> Need to burst your bubble, guys. I'm gonna put my goggles back on. Boobies are teardrop. Well, usually because like the way boobs are, like perfect circles, that means they're fake. Like, <laughs> but boobs are usually like obviously the bigger the boobs get, uh, the bigger it's gonna be. But they're usually more of like a very rough, like teared droppy sort of shape that's not like a really good example of it but like uh usually like like from the side it would look more like this usually if it would look more like this from the side that's usually means it's like it's either you have like a crazy push-up bra or they're like fake and stuff obviously again it's art you can do whatever you want with art technically but if you're going for more realistic yeah Oval, okay, kind of ovally, kind of. It kind of just depends, and then like obviously there's like things that don't apply to the rules, and some people also have boobies that are not. They are sisters, not twins, as uh, some people say. That's just how some people booby be. You know, that's an acceptable booby. It's probably a way big a biggie, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> we'll accept the big booby booby, and then my hand. So the elbows are right about here. So I'm gonna go like there. And then it's gonna, gonna shoot out a little. Now we're gonna do the hide the hands because they don't feel like drawing hands. I was gonna try and draw this one over here, but I definitely need like a reference of how this uh, hand would do this kind of pose over here for sure. And then the pelvic bone kind of goes like this. Sort of, kind of. Kind of like right around there ish. Laura Croft style makeup triangles. <laughs> your booby models, uh, your models' boobies are fake. Well, mine aren't like, uh, my models aren't that bad. They're, uh, yeah, I'll bring myself, uh, shit, how can I enhance with the. I have to play. I mean, like, there there are some and again i'm not coming for any vtubers but there are some vtubers that are there's are way more like perfect circles mine are like they're they're more on the not perfectly realistic but they're definitely more on like the realistic -er side i came boobas back 4k yes sir like uh who's a good example of somebody who's got like crazy boobies and vtubing uh, like probably cinder Hers are like mega big, but hers are still like the same thing, even though they're like big. Hers are still drawn with some like at least a little bit of a kind of realism because they do droop and stuff. They're not like perfectly like pushed up all the time and et cetera, et cetera, sort of thing. Um, so hers, even though they're pretty big, they still have like a like a semblance of a reality built in, like even all of her models. That just means she needs a better bra. <laughs> That's what that really means. <laughs> uh, it's kind of crazy. Your boobs look fine, careful. It just means she she needs a better bra because her boobies be drooping because uh, her boobies so big. <laughs> I think even Bao's new outfit. All right, like a lot of like VTuber because it's the physics, right? It's for the it's for the it's for the eyes of the beholder. Like the physics of them are not based in realism whatsoever. I would say Bao's new model actually is like pretty decent as a in between of um like more cartoony but more realistic. I'm just surprised her model's not having like a nip slip, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Cause the way the top is is like it's like a like it's like a uh oh god, what do they call it? A baby doll kind of like nighty gown thing. I'm just surprised they just not like hanging out. But her new bottle is more, I would say, more leaning into realism, for sure. Are you talking about boobies so much? Because I'm drawing the boobies right now. I'd offer the position as a... <laughs> uh, even like Shy Lily, too. Hers uh, also is definitely like... She need a bra. <laughs> I'm trying to find a picture of her. I'm on her page. But there are some VTubers, and again, it's like, it's fine, it's whatever you want, that theirs are like, legitimately like, perfect circles. I would say most of the big VTubers, even if they're big boobies hanging out, they still at least kind of follow some sense of realism by being more like, tear shop, teary drop shaped than like, perfect spears. 
It also depends, like, uh, um, what kind of shirt you wear and stuff, too. So, like, here, I'll put my drawing on the side. So, here's a boobies, right? Boobies. So, like, and then if you wear, like, a push up bra, then it's gonna put the boobies together like this and keep them, like, more up and stuff. But then if you wear, like, a, like a sports bra, it's gonna, like, eh, compress those suckers and lock them in. And then if you wear like a like a normal bra, it should just like support them kinda technically. It depends on what kind of bra you learn. Bruh. Or you can just be free, free, free going, which is always the way to go. Just be hanging out, letting them just hang out, free, free willy style. There you go, I want a bigger eraser. There we go. Oh baby. Boobs on the mind. Is anything wrong with them? Boobs on the mind? I don't think so. Guess I should focus more. Huh? Probably should focus more on my doodle. Oh, yeah, put me back on my pencil, huh? Boo boo and thighs always on the mind. Thighs, thighs on the mind. Thighs crazy. Now, I know also when you're drawing, you're technically really supposed to be like flipping the canvas, but because. Very good drawer. I don't really do that because also again, like I'm so used to the, the traditional style of drawing. Like you can kind of flip the paper when you're doing traditional, but you can't like mirror it, which is what like a lot of people do. <laughs> I always liked like showing more of the nose bridge. I don't really know why. You stop talking about boobas. My imaginary mom is in the room. Kick her out. Tell her you're in your Christian Minecraft server, and she needs to get the hell out. <laughs> Clearing out my phone notification. Tell your imaginary mom she's hot. <laughs> See, I like drawing the nose bridge, but then I'm always like torn what you do down here, because I think like the way I do down here looks just kind of like stupid. So I don't know. I'm kind of always uh. Get out my head, get out of my head, get out of my room, step away from the streamers. Alabama. Yeah, maybe your mom could be a VTuber. You know what, like, I had a thought the other day, right? Because you know, like, how, uh, Hololive's having a lot of, like, their, their girls, like, having, like, their moms be on the channel and stuff, whether it's, like, full on on the channel or whatever it is, right? I think Hollow Live should really capitalize on like the hype that they're getting right now with people being into like the moms on stream and they should try and have a wave that's just like middle-aged women. <laughs> I'm just saying I because as far as I know there's no other like VTuber agency that's focused on middle-aged women. I think you find the women and the, the simps will come. <laughs> I, th I think that's gonna happen. Like, I think you just find the women. They'd make so much, that's what I'm saying. I think they really should capitalize on the, like, the momentum they have right now. Your mom can do OnlyFans, home. But I think they should capitalize on like the momentum they have right now with their like market of uh, people being really into their, uh, their their moms or like the moms that their uh, folks bring on. I think they should uh, really capitalize on that right now. I didn't like how that's starting to look already. Their stomp with Sky. That's what I'm saying, right? Because you have Peckle Mama, and then Mama Rissa, and is that is there any others? I think those are the main two, right? But the amount of Peckle Mama. Unholy art <laughs> I am seeing. I'm just saying. Because, like, there's idol groups like that, too. Both in Japan and Korea, there are idol groups that are, are people that are, like, in their 40s and 50s. And they have a really soloing. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. Oh, we crashed for a second. Oh. Encoder overloaded. Huh? That was weird. I don't know why I did that. I think it's because Clip's a little powerful. I made it a smaller canvas. This is like 15 by like 25. 
which I thought was small, but maybe it's not small enough here. Well, no, I gotta save the art because I'm gonna I'm gonna snap all the shots and put them on <laughs> Twitter when I'm done. I'm just saying they would make uh, so much money because there is like there there's some art out there of <laughs> Pickle Mama being a little uh, a little a little sussy. But you know what? Whatever pays the bills, right? I ain't gonna fault her for how she acts on her free time. Let me also tilt the canvas. I think that's like part of it. No, I don't like it this way either. No, where's zero? Hmm. more caffeine you could you could get more caffeine i think i'm too zoomed in i think it's part of the issue i'm not having any more caffeine tonight because i gotta go bed at some point what is this doing over here i'm not happy with how that looks right there it's too big okay i think that's my other issue too big but yeah, I don't know. I've always liked doing this with my noses. But then you're in the issue of like, this is kind of a little awkward. It's not as awkward as it could be. But then if you do like the side thing over here, like I think that looks personally to me, like not my favorite. And then if you also do uh, like something like this, like the underside, I don't really like it. And then also like your nose bridge technically, so like here's your eyebrow, technically like follows your eyebrow, sort of. Well, not for everybody, but like as a rule of like thumb. So I don't know. I usually like doing the nose bridge sort of thing. But yeah, then I'm like stuck with like, what the hell do I do after this? And so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Give it a curve. Mm. Yeah, like there's also people that do like just like little, little, little nubbies and stuff, which I don't mind. And also like technically if I knew perspective and stuff, like that would also have an impact on how I would uh, be drawing the Nas. Well, because I don't perspective and I don't know how, it's having zero impact on how I Nas. Noses are hard, fingies are hard. Question for the people, if you could flash your Oz on the internet and get guaranteed 10 grand a month, would you? Flash your what? Is that supposed to be ass? Is that what that says? Go oh, Voldemort style? No, this is me! I can't give me no no. <laughs> Technically, my model has a pretty little schnoz. It's a little guy. It's a little one. I actually do Voldemort once, but it's long gone. I don't think I'd like to draw him. He's kind of creepy. Ass, yes, only once or monthly. <laughs> That's true. Chat broke. I don't know what's going on today. I also always like doing the, the, the lower lip thing. I don't know why, but I always have. See, and if I did like a little nose thing, okay, actually that kind of helps do a little nose thing there because I was gonna say it's just like a lot of dead space, but that kind of helps. Oh, we drawn up in here, yes, sir. Cup, I not very good, but we doing to your ass every month when people have to know it. <laughs> Y'all have the weirdest discussions when I'm trying to do stuff. Hmm, yeah, huh, huh, huh. Huh? Hmm. 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 I don't usually do that. No, then yeah. Yeah, if you're totally anonymous, like you don't have to do anything else. People don't need to know it's you. You don't have to have any name on your channel or something. Why not? I'll take 10 grand a month, huh? 
How much is that for the year? That's 120 grand for the year for just showing your butt on the internet once like a month. So people don't even know it's you. <laughs> and if you just wear pants all the rest of the time, people are never gonna have a chance to find out it's you. Like, you're golden, basically. Yeah, I could. Or I could go, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that kind of looks halfway decent. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is it gotta be on the meat? Okay, we're gonna stick with it, and then I'll do another another uh, layer later. The line won't work until you find the correct sound effect. Yeah, I guess that was it. And just somebody clip how that sounded so I know how to reproduce it. Like, yeah! <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It could be way worse. I'm planning to do one more layer after this. I just, I usually do one really rough sketch layer to get like really basic shapes and stuff down. And then, uh,. I'll even beautify my ass for telling you. What are you gonna do? Bleach your asshole? Is that what you're gonna do? Um, so usually I do like one kind of rough, sketchy layer, then uh, one um, better uh, sketchy layer, and then I kind of line art after that. Doesn't need to be perfect. Give me my first clip. Me? Don't know me. See, I've seen people try the hua method, but for the kya, mm -hmm. I don't think any sound effect works so long as you find the one that your Kokoro uh, demands. Bleach wax and maybe even add. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's see, now you're going further. YouTube just said your ass. You didn't say your butthole. Now you're bringing in the butthole into the mix. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember I have a, a thing. So bad at art, I don't have any talent draw. It is okay, Sophia. I don't have any art skills either, but I still like to draw and just have fun every now and then. Something like this around here, if I remember right. Kind of sort of like that. It's been a little bit. Just have a little fun, little goofy gaffing around. Just kind of doodling a little. I haven't done an art stream before. It's my first one. My proportions? Probably horrible. If a real artist came in here, they'd be like, Jesus Christ. But you know what? We adapt. We survive. I'm gonna do a better layer next. Why do I gotta have a spiky collar? So about that. Yeah, it's like lower on my neck. It's like about there, kind of. The auto mod was deserved. What did auto mod ban you for? Are we trying to say Baho? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really going in on the dedication. Listen, 10k a month. That means you don't have to do anything else for the month. Because you just need to show your your bare butt once a month. Like you're f like then you're golden, right? Like then you're fine. <laughs> then you don't have to do anything for the rest of the month. Uh. Only thing I draw is stick figures. That's okay. Stick figures are fun too. Yeah, I draw some. You're like, huh? You can even draw a stick figure dog. Little ears. <laughs> it looks a little more like a cat. Okay, right, let's do a stick figure dog. And then he's got like a puppy dog tail. It kind of looks like a monkey. <laughs> you can do cockroaches too. Or like spiders or something. Lots of things with stick figures too. Bring up the butthole is only for special occasions. Your voice is very relaxing. I'm falling asleep. Yow! This isn't even an ASMR stream. Why do you guys keep falling asleep when I stream? I even stream at 8 o'clock now because some of you guys are whining about 9 being too late. Jesus Christ, I'm going to bed. I'll see you later. Thank you for the content. Go by absent. I was trying. It's harder than it looks. Did that go through? Oh, the clip link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty chill. I try to be chill. Now, this is cute. Thanks. I can do cockroach too. Okay. You want a cockroach? Here, tag uh, Madara Khan <laughs> real fast. There you go. That better? What is She's got momos, right? We're the little momies. Oh, the momos, they have a, oh god, they got their, their wangs hanging out, kind of, oh god, I don't remember what the momos look like. 
maps. I see it in my head, but I can't like see it at the same time. Like I know like what it looks like, but I can't with a brain. <sighs> Privacy doesn't exist nowadays. Exactly. Here, I'll show you guys my butt so you don't have to go look for it. Problem solved. There's my butt. <sighs> Looking good. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay, let me go back to actual doodle we were working on. Stop! <laughs> I'm pretty cute. Thank you very much. I try my hardest. Try my bestest. This is on my strappies. Oh, I lost my uh, reference picture. Okay, we got the boobies be banging, the booby bang. Okay, so it kind of goes, from this perspective, if we're leaning this way, it'd be like, whoosh, kind of, sort of, very roughly. And then this would go with the boobies over here that I drew earlier. Why did I thought the long... The circle to the eye. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You got a little booby right there. Where's my little side uh, reference thing again? Shoulders are kind of interesting. I don't know, because you can like really define them and stuff. I am pretty muscular, so. And then this would be more like kind of a little smaller strap, because it's not like the front. And I also have this little bad boy I gotta deal with at some point, too. My, uh... Well, thank you so much for the crawfish family, cup of gold. And I got, I got, I got to cover the booba, unfortunately. Because technically, I don't really think you would see much booba on this side, I'm gonna be honest. Might be a little too snatched on my waist. I got a pretty snatched waist, actually. And then, because again, I'm just doing like some rough sketching. I got the little metal class for the overalls. Never actually drawn overalls before. I wonder if Mama Cyan had really ever done it before I asked. Then it would kind of go like, like this a little. See a little of my side action going on. And then it would kind of like a reference of droopies. And then it's like hanging off this shoulder over here. So it's blocking the boob a little. Sorry guys, boobies gonna get blocked a little. Now we do like a little bit of this. Oopsie. Well, nah, we'll figure this out when I get to there. <laughs> That's my usual go to with artists. We'll get there when we get there. I stay sane, arting when I'm not a good art arter. And we can like so then. Whoa! I got them broad shoulders. I drew my shoulders way too big here. <laughs> way too big. Okay, how do I? Where is my little lasso? So I've seen some people do. And then they like did not grab what I wanted it to grab. Cancel. So I've seen some people. I've never done this, so I kind of want to see how to do this. So like, did I think I filled this all in? Yeah, and then I can like do this. Yeah, okay. Now I can like shrink it and stuff. Yeah, I've never like done the transformy kind of stuff. It's a little better. I think it's my shoulders really throwing it off a lot. Not the door frame, no. Thoughts on perfectionist? I think you gotta be a little lenient with yourself. I do get the notion of you want everything you make to be like perfect. But I think it's also you have to be able to like be accepting of your mistakes and overcome them. Because if you always seek perfection in like every single piece that you do, you're never gonna get anywhere, right? I think it's fine if you like slowly build up. I mean we all start from somewhere, like home. 
Let me see if I can find like a really old thing I did when I was a kid. <laughs> it's like you just gotta start somewhere and then you'll get better eventually, right? Like it's, it's uh, it's just one of those things. If you try to be perfect from the start, you're never gonna get anywhere because you're always gonna be like in your own head about it and just like, just like kind of down on yourself when things aren't going actually wait, the way you want them to. So you kind of just can't be in your own head. See if I can find one of these. I remember I made a. Let's see. Because I have access to some of my really old stuff. And there's stuff like I made that now I'm not like, I would not be really happy with. Like, but what I consider how I got to those pieces back when I was a youngin, I was like, wow, this is really impressive and stuff. Shoulders for days, yes, sir. Come on. Come on. I do like this. Oh, why are you acting up? Your uh, stream's still connected, so it's not springy. <sighs> Those shoulders can not go through door frames. Yes, they connect. Bro, what's going on with my browser? Huh? I guess that worked. What's going on with this one, though? Okay, let me try one more time to find this old piece of mine. Like, I have one piece. Eventually, I'll probably show it. Um, I just don't know where it is right now. That is from when I was younger, and I distinctly remember, like, I had a mouse and MS Paint. And, like, that was it. I didn't have any other way to, like, draw or do anything. And I distinctly remember that I um, scanned this thing in. <laughs> And then I colored the whole thing myself, like in MS Paint, and it was so bad. Oh, here's a here's a here's an old one for sure, dude. This maybe one day we'll we'll bring her justice. Oh come on, okay there you go. You're just being kind of stinky. I don't know why this is being so much of a pain. Maybe one day we'll do her justice. I've always wanted to do the one of those uh, redo, like an old piece I did sort of things. Let me pull her up. There she is. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I'm a great artist now, but compared to that, I think it's a pretty big improvement, I would say. <laughs> so, you know, I don't aim for perfection though. That's okay. I don't think you gotta be perfect. I think if you aim for perfect too much, it's like you're just gonna be kinda down on yourself too much. Lucky you overhead 150. I think my uh my lore says like 500. <laughs> so I work out. I try my best. I have one piece. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. But again, I was like I was I was like a young, young little Krauss. So I'm not like gonna beat myself up about it, but I mean, eventually I got better than that, right? And obviously I'm still not perfect. That's totally fine with me. I'm still way more comfortable too with like a, uh, like a pen and paper than I am with like a tablet and stuff. Even though I've had this tablet for a really long time, I'm just still way comfier with like pen and paper and stuff. Um, and it doesn't help that I don't use this tablet like all the time either. So like if I used it more, then I'd probably feel like more confident with it. But since I don't, like obviously I'm not gonna feel super confident with it. Um, which is fine. It's fine. It's just yeah, I should have probably I really wish I had spent more time during the um pandemic, like getting better at art and focusing on art and stuff. Cause then I think I would have been a lot further along than I am. Because I also remember when I was younger, like, as a kid, I could, like, pump out art like nobody's business. Like, none of it was very good, but, like, I could just keep pumping out art. I joined, like, RP groups, and, like, to be honest, that's where I saw a lot of my growth in art, is I got really passionate and excited about, like, the characters and, like, our character interactions and stuff. So that's where, like, I know I had, like, a pretty big boom in, like, being a more prolific artist and stuff. Um... So it's like, it's one of those things they say though, is like, if you find something you really like, um, just like hyper focus on it and just pump out a bunch of art for it. And then you can definitely improve. 
That's why a lot of artists you see, they might draw like one, two, three characters or whatever because like they've super hyper fixated on them but at the same time it's really good that they did because then they've like really improved their uh, skills. I've always wanted to but I've always had that notion in my head of like god I don't want to mess up this character that I really like so then I end up never doing it and then also a lot of the characters I like tend to be dudes and dudes are so hard to draw because like with like more feminine characters you can just draw curves and stuff and like you can hide that a lot better where with dudes they don't typically like if you want to go like big beefy man like I like big beefy man it's different kind of curves and then you also have like muscles and stuff I'm gonna make a switch on the crawfish family psych 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 kick dom thank you thank you thank you <laughs> I got there I got there so I've always drawn more whammon when I've doodled too and I'm sure that has like impeded my growth at drawing men and stuff. I'd still draw men, but I'm not very good at it. I'll try to find another one. I have another thing from some uh, hip mic. Uh, I almost pulled up the hip mic thing. Maybe next time we do an art stream, I'll try and like pull up my hip mic OCs and we'll uh, work on them on a streamy. So right now I'm still just doing more like rough blocking and stuff. Nothing's like perfect right now, which is okay with me. Now yeah, welcome. Women are better to draw. Hell yeah, do we love women? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and then I got some some packets here. And then I got some. Uh, this a, uh, I guess that's beater still. So like if that's a hip bone, and then that's a hip bone, and like around here, -ish, kind of, kind of. Nice art you got there. Thank you, Yuki. Thank you, Thank you. Try my darndest. It's been a long time since I've done some art. <laughs> it's been a real long time since I've done some some artin' and some farting. Mm, it's kind of like this. I like this. Like, and some of the shapes I've just like remember over the years. Like, you get your elbow and then. Ooh, that's not. I'm gonna <laughs> draw like Kha'Zix little fucking uh, little claws. It looks like it's got little claws and like hair <laughs> and he's like a little bug guy. Yeah, if I send this to League, maybe they'll give me RP. A little bug, bug claw thing. So and he's like hair. <laughs> <laughs> the color. Eventually, I'm still at like the really rough, uh, sketchy thing. I I always do like a super rough sketch and then I do like a more kind of defined sketch and then I usually follow up with a. A little bit more of a kind of line arty thing. We'll see if we get the coloring tonight. We'll see. Oh yeah, so here's Ka Zix. Ka Zix? Yes. See, like, I can also write, hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. Eka. Hello. I like the Kha'Zix, it's kind of cute, kind of like them. I should probably get up here and kind of finish this face that we're going for, huh? The thing that now, too, with how big I've drawn the shoulders is the head is too small. I got small head syndrome, wanting we all know I got a big brain. If I do that little thing I did earlier, where is it? Uh, this one? I think it needs to be like that big. I think because of the way I did the shoulders, I need to. Hi, welcome, Gray. Hello. I think like that. I think because the shoulders are so big like oh my proportions are so messed up this boob is huge huh oh I'm gonna have to do another pass <laughs> it's so bad uh, who let me do this you guys uh, you can't let me do this this is so bad 
Oh, brother. I can probably cover it, a lot of it with the overall, too. I can kind of cheat a little bit, not gonna lie, and do some overalling. Um, and stuff. Oh, well. I'll just keep doing. Booba stung by a bee. I'm a bee. <laughs> I need to shrink it a little. Oops. It needs to be, like... Oops, Nike. Needs to be more like. Huh? That's not my pen. What pen I was using, though? Huh? That's not what I was using. What pen was I using? Oh no. What pen were they using? Is it this one, really? No, it's definitely not this one. Or is it, but on a smaller size? Hmm. I think I need to bring the booby in more like this. So bring this in, like let's pretend my rib cage is here. And then that makes a little more sense if I bring the booby in just a little bit. So bring the boob in a little bit. Just in the process of trying. You <laughs> have skills watching amazing art. <laughs> no, my uh, my art's definitely not uh, amazing. There's plenty more uh, better VTuber artists out there. Oh, welcome kick-ass guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have not drawn in a very long time either. I had to dig my tablet out of a box. I had to free her from her prison of a box. Oh, I can't forget the most important thing. You guys almost let me forget. Boop. There you go. Bowl on booby. Oh, Mama Cyan also has my tank top way more down. See more of the boobies. Hmm. She's more like this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of EB do awesome drawing. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do. I have not drawn in a very long time, so I'm not super thinking it's gonna be great. But that's okay. I'm just having some fun. Mola Boob is peak, yes sir. There's one artist. I'm gonna talk about it. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> There's an artist I follow on Twitter. Um, they draw unholy art. They have a million followers, so that helps narrow it down a lot. They do this thing a lot, which I I don't know. I kind of like it a lot. <laughs> they do, and so so here's a donut, guys. We love donuts, right? <laughs> so they do this thing where they uh. A little mole on the donut. <laughs> yeah. Right around the the donut hole, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I never uh, I've never really seen that and now they've done do that on like all of their donut hole art and it's pretty good. <laughs> That's all I'll say so I don't get in trouble. <sighs> I don't know, I've never seen it before and I kinda like it. Pretty good. I'm also gonna bring this down. This is like too high. I think maybe right there. Yeah, that's probably better. Oops. Is all I'll say about that, guys. That looks delicious. <laughs> It's a, they are very amazing artists. And they have a safe for work and an NSF. Uh, account their nsf ones at a million their safer is still huge they're probably at like i think like 400,000 500,000 um they super rarely open up commissions i think next time they open because it's been a really long time i think no matter how much it is if i want it i think i'm gonna have to just <laughs> spend the money <laughs> they do a lot of vtuber fan art too kind of learning about my awesome skills thanks here i'll draw you a little kirby for free Let's give him a little hat this time. Let's give him a crown. He deserves it. Yes, King. Um, drop him a little gem and stuff. Drop those gems on the peak still. There we go. Yes, sir. Little try. Little bushy. <laughs> we'll leave him. Let's move him, but we'll leave him. We'll, we won't get rid of him. Ding, 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 ding. 
I'm sure there's an easier way to do that, but I've never even done the transform thing before, so I'm pretty content with that. I'm not gonna lie. So here's the fun part of art, is always drawing the second eye. Always the most fun part of art. There's a trick, and I don't remember the trick at all right now, and how people do this. It's like me, for real, for real. This is why most people you see that are learning art go like, hee hee, wink. <laughs> you don't have to draw a second eye, and I don't blame them because I've done that a lot too. The second eyes are very hard because like you have to balance uh, like the way you drew the other one, the angle that you're currently drawing in. And I always have a lot of issue with the second eye. I usually make it too big or it's not as like defined as the first eye. It's always an issue I have. Some people, they, uh, you need to have the eye here. Some people will like copy, flip, and whatever, and uh, do it that way. To be style. I could, I could put my goggles down, and then I don't even have to draw the other eye. For now, we're gonna leave that. That's not very good in the slightest, but we're gonna leave it like that for now, and that's uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I also have another little more right here. And I have some bashi, kaiza bashi. What's your favorite game that nobody knows about? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I have a game that nobody knows about. When I was growing up, I really liked the Sly Cooper games. I think they're on Steam. I'd like to play the Sly Cooper games at some point on stream. I know technically you can, um play them via PlayStation, but you have to have like the more expensive membership, I think. Like I just have the, the, the plus. And then I think the one above that is the one you have to have for a lot of like the classic PlayStation games, but that's like 120 for a year. Like it's a lot. Okay, so it stops. So my bangs stop about here. Okay. Goober games, home, no, Sly Cooper. Um, I don't know, honestly, if I have a game that I played like a shit ton that I don't think anybody knows about. There was a math game, because yes, I lived in the era where there was educational computer games <laughs> that not a lot of people know about. I have to look it up every single time when I tell people about it, because I don't even remember what it's called. But it was like an island of monsters, and you had to like save the day, because something was happening on the island of monsters, but it was also like a math game at the same time. Microflyer finds some seriously awesome hidden gems. Yeah, there's apparently there's a lot of really good stuff. Don't worry about this mess. <laughs> They're gonna fix it eventually. I know Itch has like a lot of um, cool math games with my favorite site as a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, um, it's like an actual like CD, like computer game. Let me see. Yeah, about monsters. Uh, that's not gonna help me. Um, math, uh, math, uh, PC math game about monsters. Oh, the Clue Finders. That's another hidden gem. <gasps> Here it is. I found it. It's Monster Maker Math. I don't know why. I just really liked that game as a kid because I always liked the weird monster stuff. Well, there he is. There they are. Maybe if I could find a way to play that on stream one day. I'd like to do maybe a week or something or two where we play like nostalgic games. Like I have like the Spy Fox, Dry Surreal and stuff too. I think it'd be kind of a fun. Oh, it'd be kind of fun, I think. Oh, Vgen is hiring. If you guys need a job, Vgen's hiring a social media manager. Mm. Mm -hmm. A dead of night looks awesome. Is that little little Heidi thing? What well, game hurts my eyes in a bad way? Which one? Spy Spy Fox. <laughs> he loves Spy Fox. Okay, so they have it. It's funny, like, I have to look up how to draw these goggles when I'm the one who came up with them. 
so but they kind of come up like this a little i'm drawing them thicker because i'm gonna fix them later i'm just kind of trying to get the big shape of them down and then about there and then we got some like sheets designing thing you know a lot of uh vtuber artists too they use a symmetry tool a lot which i should probably learn how to use that i've tried it before i found it very confusing so that's usually why when you see like a vtuber model it's pretty symmetrical or they'll have elements that are pretty symmetrical because they use the symmetry tool so they don't have to like double draw things uh, which is super smart actually it saves a lot of time Okay, and then these ones you won't really see that much with the angle we're going for. Okay, back to the bangs. Bang, 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 bang. The monster maker math. I wish there was a, a timeout redeem. Like, what do you mean, like a timeout redeem? <laughs> Welcome, bloody heart. Welcome. You time yourself out. <laughs> I think you have the mod power, Jesus, where you could time somebody out for like a minute or two, actually. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing some arting and some farting and uh, not doing it very good, but it's all really matters. Talking too much shit. Nah, it's okay. We're just vibing today. So like, then a head would come like this. You gotta be careful, because then you get like weird head shape real fast. Even if you got crazy hair like I do, you're like, no, 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 no. And then, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's enough of a, another bad sketch for me. Then we add another layer. Ah. Oh. I don't know what I did there. No, no, I, oh, I, I clipped them. Okay, no, I wanna, I wanna do this. Okay, let's bust out the, the black. Let's go crazy with it. I'll shrink my pen size a little too. Time me out for two a minute or two. <laughs> I I did almost add a redeem for you guys to like me to time you out or to get timed out, but I was like, I think that's a little mean, so I didn't do it. Plus also I don't wanna like have like too many uh uh like redeems because I felt like it was gonna like super flood the thing if I had way too many. It's already so hard to like scroll through them all. Um, so I was like, I don't really want to do that. It's really so well, don't worry about it. No, 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 time of it. Guess what? Chicken butt flu. Uh, monster food. The dumb monster. Alright, let's try being serious with this now. Line art's the super scary part. And a lot of artists talk about how scary line art is because it is. It makes it very permanent. You lose a lot of the charm of like the sketchy thing. Kind of sketchy vibe you originally had with the piece once you start line arting it. Kind of crazy. I've always wanted to try to do more painty style, but I don't really know how you go about that on um, like a tablet with a computer. I really do not know. I know someone who has a redeem to get timed out or to time someone else out. See, I was gonna do that. I was gonna do the time yourself out or time somebody else out, but I thought it was like too mean. <laughs> Because if you have a lot of channel points, then you can, like, bully each other. <laughs> a streamer said something about Twitch cracking down on streamers who use timeouts. Oh, really? Well, I thought the whole point of, like, a timeout was if you wanted to, like, be like, hey, you know, like, this is, like, your warning sort of thing. I thought that was the whole point of uh, timeouts was to be like, this is kind of your warning, like, stop acting a fool. And then after that, that's when, uh... I don't want this one. Maybe I should go to the G pen. Maybe that's what I should do for this. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the whole point of the timeout was for, um, uh, to just be like, hey, you're like in trouble. Here you go. Get, like, go in your timeout corner for five minutes and you can come back before you, like, go straight to banning people. They have a limit per person. Mm -mm -mm. I've been practicing doing digital painting. It's largely about the brushes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was all, yeah, yeah. I want to, maybe one day we'll do a Bob Ross paint night. Because <laughs> I know they have a Bob Ross uh, stream on Twitch all the time. 
Miss out that real lazy eye. <laughs> Crazy eye. Get me out of here. I'll allow that. <laughs> you know the song Life Hates Us Now Hated by Life Itself? I do not know. Like the way you live. <laughs> <laughs> Like a rude ass, goofy ass laugh. That's crazy. I'm banning all of you. You're on timeout now. <laughs> hmm. With all the art kids do. Can you imagine me doing this on pen and paper? Because you don't get this cute little control Z thing on pen and paper. It's not as much fun, I'm gonna be honest. God Hated Us by Avenged and Unfold. I've never heard of that one. It's kind of relatable. It sounds kind of aggressive. <laughs> Like my little control Z. Also, I have not saved. You guys have not said save girl save. That's crazy. Uh... Ah, I'm just gonna put it in here. I'll organize it later. You're in my schedule folder for now. <laughs> you guys didn't use my save redeem. Anything could have happened on the streamy with my art today. Oh, it's too late now. I already saved. You guys wasted, like, you lost your opportunity to save me. Unsave? No, unsave. I don't like how that was looking, but I'm not, like, super happy up here. Okay, why are the redeemies, like, not showing? That's super weird that they're not showing here because, uh, they definitely should be. Like, I can't, I can't see half of the redeem. So, like, because I have them on, uh, they usually pop up on stream. Like this. This. Okay, jail time. Okay, right, one sec. Let me. How do I. What are they called over here? Channel point sounds. Okay, but they're not like showing up here either. Why are they not showing up? That is really odd. I do not understand why they're not showing up. Hmm, that's weird. I don't know why they're not showing up. Maybe there's something in my settings I have to go mess with. I'm peeking. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, let me just pull up a uh, stream on my phone. Because oh, I don't know why they're not uh, showing up. I really don't know. Huh? Why are there 16 of you here? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, stream manager? I think that's where I can see this. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what's been redeemed. Meme time, save girl, save girl, save girl, save girl. <laughs> I'm gonna put that one on a cooldown. It should already be on a cooldown, actually, huh? The only rock band I really like now is Pierce the Veil or Kill Switch. I'm not really a rock person. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I, I have this on because this is a free DMCA thing and I don't know how to do the, um... Yeah, a thing where I can have my own music playing and then I'm not safe to the mod. Like, I don't know how to do that. Um, but uh, I'm definitely more of like a hip hop, rap kind of person for sure. <laughs> I'll listen to other music, but those are my go tos. The 15 others are watching me, watching you. Home. Little something like that. I did like how I had this little spiky looking though. I kind of liked that. I don't know how dangerous the spikes on my uh, collar are. Oopsie. But it's there. Yeah, I can make that work. Mm 
Yeah. Rap by King Iso. Are you so is good rap? Mm. I think you just lower the volume of music all the way down. There's a way you can like have it as like an audio source and then you're supposed to do something in the settings so it doesn't save to the VOD itself. I don't know how to do it. I haven't really looked at it because I never had the need to. Usually I just have my BGM on or it's like game music and stuff. Or like this, like, oh, like I have this on today and that works fine for me. Plus also like a lot of people do that with their Spotify and they'll have Spotify play. But I don't, I don't pay for Spotify. So then we'll be dealing with ads like every two minutes. <laughs> So, like, that's the other reason I haven't really, like, worried about it. Pierce the Veil is mixed with rock and metal. Oh, I'm also not a metal person. <laughs> Probably not for me. But, you know, again, whatever people like. Just something is uh, not, the, not for me, which is fine. I don't need to like everything. And then I think from here they're all just gonna be like face them forward. That's super hard to do. How do you do that face them forward? Maybe you're just not a person? I might not be. I could not be a person. I got thank you so much for the crawfish family. Glory to Stroop Waffles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yama 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 is arguably the best rapper of all time. I like his stuff. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday, but thank you. You're uh how many months early? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months early. But thank you. <laughs> At least you won't be late. I think you just like do it like this. I think they just have to be circled at that point because you're just looking at it straight on, right? Oops. I think at that point they're just like circles. And then when I get like over here, and then you can like see the spikies again. I've never like done a spiked collar. I think there's a better way to do this. Cause there's gonna be a way to show it's like kind of 3D, but I personally don't know how to do it. So kind of get whatever I uh, come up with to show it. Eh, it doesn't look half bad, I don't think. For somebody that's never uh, done like a spiked collar before, it's pretty good. Okay, now we come with the trippy part. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. That's pretty good. There you go. It's pretty decent. Really done one before, but it's pretty convincing, I would say. Pretty poggers. Good. I put tech. Hello, my top artists are Wit, Lori, and Sick World. That's cool. Yeah, it's around my neck. A little, a little choker. Chokers are so uncomfortable, IRL. <laughs> they're like, they're suffocating, dude. I know that's the whole point of it, but like, they're suffocating. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing though. Ow, 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 with my hair. Ow! Ugh. I made waffles before stream, guys. I, I, I was rushing to get the stream. I had to make my waffles though, because <laughs> I didn't do it before. And I uh, definitely should have done it sooner. For Barone. A little choker. Like, choke your neck. Choke them out, sort of thing. I'm gonna play more Helldivers too because there's a new update already. We killed the robots and the robots are already back. I need to play some more Helldivies. I don't think I'll be doing it after streamy today. I got things I gotta do tomorrow. Waffles did look good. Yeah. So nice. It's one of those uh, little dash uh, waffle things. Before I would have had to... And it was fine, I had no problem doing it. Before I didn't have like the four waffle cooker. So I would do, I had like, I think like three or four little ones at a time. So I'd be like dual or triple wielding uh, 
waffles <laughs> and so i'd be going between all the waffle makers trying to get them done and everything and it was such a pain in the ass um where now that i have like the horror one it's so much easier and it has little trays on the side so if you overfill then you get like little waffle sticks hell diver yeah 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 Back and with more killing intent. I know, they're crazy this time. Thorn collar. Huh? Do -do -de -do. Do -de -do -de -do. Let's see, and then you go like, Hwah. and you're 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 like, Hwah. I don't like any of those. I will do this the old fashioned way. I know with line art you have to be like more uh, distinct with your uh, lines, especially if you're gonna color it. I think it's okay if I go out. Oh, well, that was actually pretty good. I probably should have left that. I'll stick with that one. I kind of like that one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a little off over here too. I think this is a little thick. This looks like I'm wearing some mad eyeliner. Which I am not. It's pretty good. Yeah, I can do that. Let me do that to show that I got an eyeball in a socket. I used to be able to do this better. There you go. Well, my first solo be I draw like this. Eh, you just gotta practice. Mine's not very good. There's a lot of proportional errors and like anatomical errors, 100%. You gotta like practice. Just get a, get a little pen and paper. Don't be an AI dude, bro, or else you're banned for life. I don't know. I don't personally think I'm a furry. Although there's characters I see and I'm like, hmm, I could join the furries. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, for a while, before I, like, for, like, 0.25 seconds, I thought about being, like, a bunny VTuber. So, probably be a bunny if I was gonna be anything. I'm pretty glad I did not end up going the bunny route, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I think it's, like, there's too many bunny VTubers. <laughs> So I'm glad I didn't uh, do it. It reminds me of some manga style. Yeah. Where I get all my inspiration from. What characters? Oh, Shiro from a BNA. <laughs> Shiro BNA. He's a, he's, pretty, he's a pretty good one. He's a human and he wolfman. About being a bat VTuber? I think a bat would be fun because like uh I think the issue with like the animal side of VTubing is like there's animals a lot of people go for because people like them, they're more noticeable, they're more like distinguishable and everything, right? So I think there are people that like I think could have like been a little more unique with the animal they picked. But I think at the same time, it does help like your growth and stuff. Like dogs are super common, foxes, wolves, bunnies, cats. Like those are all super common animals you see all the time in VTubing. And again, totally fine. But then when you put yourself in a crowd, like, excuse me, Sir Kirby, I must come over into your space. Like you're over here and I'm like, wow, I'm cat girl VTuber. Alright. The cat girl VTuber with cat girl boobies. And you're like, oh, I'm cat girl VTuber. <laughs> but then you put yourself in a lineup with like every other cat girl VTuber. And then you kind of just like blend into the crowd a little bit. Because also a lot of VTubing goes for very similar uh, colors. Because they're colors that like attract people and like catch your attention and stuff. You know, so I, there's nothing wrong with being like a cat girl or like a dog boy or a fox boy. Like there's nothing wrong with it. But I think the issue is like you have to be careful 
like what kind of cat you are, how much of it you're doing, what color scheme you're doing, like either way. You want a sea cucumber? There's a VTuber that's a sea anemone. Uh, Zion, Zion. Ah, oh, she's really cute. I like her stuff. There it is. She's a sea slug. That's really close to uh, a uh, uh, like a cucumber. Shoot, I was looking. She doesn't have a card. Here, I'll, uh... Yeah, see? So she's a sea slug. I really like her model. I think it's super cute. Super duper cute. So pretty cute, like, close to, a, uh, like, a cool combar. She doesn't have a card. So let's see if there's other art in here. She's got a little face. Um, here's the profile picture better. I think it's super cute. I really like her design a lot. I don't know. I do have a soft spot for sea tubers, obviously, because I'm kind of sort of one, but without really being one. I was hoping she would have a... I should be careful scrolling on uh, <laughs> Twitter. I was hoping she'd have... Here, here we go. This is what I was looking for. There we go. Super cute. Very, very cute. I like it a lot. So like, not exactly a sea cucumber, but she's like close. I like her, her hair is like anemones and stuff. I'm an indoor sea tuber, 100%. But I think it's really cute. I like her stuff. Oh, well, I mean like if she posted on her Twitter, then like that's her choice, right? But I was making sure I <laughs> should have thought better because some people uh, post NSF stuff <laughs> on their Twitter feeds. <laughs> So I should have been maybe more careful with that. I think I have it so mindset so they blur out, but not everybody marks anything as uh, like mature. Yeah, like this is like this is like sea anemone kind of stuff she's got going on. And then this is to go with the sea slug. A lot of sea slugs have like kind of like they're not tails technically, but like this like of uh, like flight fl 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 the thingies. So, but it's really cute. I like her design a lot. I think she's super cute. Um, yeah, her jacket's really cool. I like like the transparent part of it. Um, it's a really fun crop too, cause it's like a like a super crop top, which is really fun. I don't know. I think it's cute. I think she looks cute with and without her jacket and stuff. Um, but yeah, so like there's there's like a there's like a VTubers for everything. But then again, like if you if I went to Google right now and I just search cat girl vtuber like it'd be a lot of similar colors a lot of people use pinks a lot of people use blues and like purples those are like very common go-to colors in vtubing it's just those are colors that attract people purples like even in league like if you compare in league like most champs in league are like the predominant color that league uses all the time is purple <laughs> like i remember they used to have color charts people would make and it was probably like 70 percent was uh, uh, oh my god, my brain was uh, purple and stuff, you know. But I think you just gotta be like distinct about it. I think you have to, if you're gonna be a cat, I think you need to do something to stand out because there is a lot of like cats. There's a lot of foxes, there's a lot of wolves, there's a lot of dogs. Um, and then like Globy too, like I'm sorry, I'm not trying to come at anybody, but like Globy just came out with theirs and I think their whole thing is like everybody's an animal. But like then when you do that, it's like you run into a lot of issues that if you pick a similar animal to like other big existing VTubers, then you run in the risk of like the classic, well you're just like that. So like this is theirs, right? Nothing against anybody. This girl's name is Pippa. Which nobody owns the name Pippa, but I mean, there is the pink bunny Pippa. <laughs> so I think this name choice was not the smartest thing. I think she's been a Globy talent. I've personally never heard of Globy until they started coming on my feed. But when I saw her design, like, she's a penguin, right? Uh, and, like, my first thought when I saw this was, like, Petra from Niji Sanji. Because similar thing with really big poofy jackets, school uniform, short hair, like the accessories in the hair. Because like when you do certain animals, you're gonna have a lot of like similar things that overlap. This person, I really like their design, this Ob uh, Obari person, or, or uh, Oba, yeah, Obari. So there's Scorpion. I really like how they integrated it into the hair. I think it's really fun and different. 
So, and like, because they could have also gone the very obvious mass of like scorpion stinger tail thing. But I think it was really smart to have it like integrated into the hair. I also like this more like grungy kind of rock sort of a uh, thingy majig. Flemish. Flemish is a type of a language. It's um oh god. Is it Northern European? I think that's what Flemish is. Uh, also, all of these globe globy people speak a shit ton of languages. There's like one person I looked up. They speak uh the Dutch language. Okay, it's it's a uh, I think it's related to Dutch. That's what I thought. But a lot of these globy people speak a shit ton of languages. Like who was it the cowgirl? I think it was her. No, she didn't. Her language is to be decided. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Who was it? I clicked because I was looking through them. Was it this girl? Yeah, English, Bahadis, Malaysian, Bahadi Sawaki, Bahadis, uh, Indonesian. Like she speaks a lot. There was somebody else that they spoke Japanese, Korean, I think Filipino, but then also English, Spanish, and French. So these globy people speak like a shit ton of languages, like a lot of languages. Uh, but anyway, my point is like, you just gotta be like, I don't know, you, you gotta do stuff to stand out. I think the thing with them all having an animal element, I think they run the risk of just like too much similarities to animals that already exist. I think some are like more fun and they do things to be more distinct. But some of these designs, I feel like I've seen, I don't know, I have no, <laughs> should be talking about this because I have like no skills in this department but some of these I feel like are designs and like elements I've seen like so many times oops not that sorry but then there's people that like in this that I think really stand out like this Obari person I really again like the thing with the scorpion thing I think this Vance guy from his hair alone stands out because there is not a lot of youtubers that will have more complicated hair like this it's usually just like straight or spiky, so I think that helps with his like whole vibe and stuff. Uh, but then you have to be careful because then you'll get stuff like, like this Ibuki guy. Nothing against him. I just feel like I've seen this design like a lot, like this same big poofy kind of tactical combaty jacket, and like he's a bear, and like I I feel like I've seen similar things with like dogs and and wolves and like too many things. I think the issue is like. The animal thing, you run the risk of just, it's too much the same. <laughs> so I'm really glad I didn't do a bunny VTuber because like, I think I would have just got lost in like the 101 other like bunny VTubers that exist. Um, I don't think it would have fit my personality nearly as much. I'm pretty content with uh, the choices I made and uh, what I ended up doing for my VTubing uh, career and stuff, you know? No, the bunny girl is, uh, shit, where'd it go? Here, I'll pull it back up. Some of the names also, I think, are a little, <laughs> a little much. <laughs> Her name, I think, is kind of crazy. I think it's a good crazy, but it's kind of crazy, like rhubarb and custard. <laughs> like, but no, she's a bunny. It just also, it doesn't, like, feel like the animal element is, like, necessarily important to a lot of the designs. Like, it kind of feels like... She just has like bunny ears, you know, and some bunny accessories. Like, I think this guy does a good job of his animal element feeling like incorporated in design because he kind of has like more of a fantasy sort of like ask element. Um, but I think, again, not picking on the Pippa girl, but like from the picture, we can't even tell if she has a tail. So, like, looking at this, I like it's you, you can't really tell it's a penguin sort of thing, you know. Other people have obviously more like apparent like things. So like she's a giraffe, uh, which is fun. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do like a cheetah or gazelle for like a racing thing. But like she's got a tail, she's got ears, you know, she's a giraffe. Hi, Baffa. Hello. Well, we were, we were arting. Hey, Seuss, can you give a shout out to Baffa, please and thanks? Do your mind duties, poor favor. <laughs> we were arting and then I went on one of my constant yaps that I always do. It's really saturated. Yeah, I just like, and like, this is, uh, like, I, they just released eight of these kiddos. I think they already had some. So I think even within your own company, when you focus like exclusively on animal stuff, 
you're gonna have overlap like technically these are two different bears but you already have two bears right and she's a what is she la, 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 la. okay it doesn't say but i think with that tail i think she's a cat and then you have this fenix fox guy but then you have similar ears again and then also this is a tiger i think he's a tiger too i think if i remember right so like even within your own company you're already kind of having like overlaps and like he's a monkey which is really cool i just i can't <laughs> i there's no nothing that says monkey here like he doesn't have ears he doesn't have like a tail or anything that we can see so it's hard but yeah like you already have kind of similar overlap um in your own company i think that's one of the things that gets hard when you're like well we everybody has an animal theme you know, and like right now she's the only dog, but who says like next gen there's not gonna be a dog, right? <laughs> like he stands out because he's the only like reptile because he's a crocodile or an alligator, one of the two. So like he stands out in that regard, um, which is really cool. And also he's got abs, <gasps> sort of thing. Dude's name is Leon like Lion. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think the names are interesting too. I think a lot of the names though are hard to remember. Like this girl I remember because her name's crazy. But <laughs> again, like a good crazy, <laughs> like Rupert and Custard. Hey Zeus, where is the shadow? I told you to. Do. Did you do it? I can't see into my chat. Can't see it. Did you do it? Did you do it? You bad door. But yeah, it's just I think some of the names are a little a little too much, I think. You know. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I feel like I know this. So I think that's the other thing is some of them are a little too on the nose. <laughs> like, uh, like her name is like Pebblesworth and like a lot of penguins build nests with pebbles and stuff like that. Maybe a model, you bet you guys should have applied. I had mod apps open for like almost a month. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. There you go. Good job. Finally. Play more Persona. I have more Persona this week. I think I'm gonna have to do a week of streams where I like just do Persona so I can keep making progress. But I don't know, I feel bad because I'm not trying to rag on the talents or the company or anything, but I think the animal thing is like a double-edged sword because then people will be like, oh, like they have like a lot of animal themed talents. So you might have people that are into cows or the owl, like I'm, I'm assuming owl might be a hawk or something, right? But then again, then you run the risk of uh, put them in a lineup and they are just like the same as a lot of other ones. But again, there's like animals I don't see a lot. Like I, I only know a handful of like giraffe VTubers. I reptile-esque VTubers, I don't feel like I know that many of either. There's like a couple. Uh, cows, I know a handful. But like again, bears, foxes, wolves, cats, dogs. There's just like, there's like so many, <laughs> just so many. So I'm just personally glad I didn't uh, go that route myself. I like I could have been just a cute pink bunny girl, but like everybody is a cute pink bunny girl, <laughs> so like probably a good thing I did not go the cute pink uh, bunny girl route. Ah. Oh no! Here's the what? 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 Hot? What? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, when you do like a just a, like a VTuber theme that's been done 101 times, you have to like you have to do something to be really standout-ish. Whether that's you're like a really good artist, a really good singer, um, you like I don't know, you you build gun plays real good. Like I'm just throwing out I, like things. Like you have to do something to really stand out in the sea of other. Uh, bunny and dog and fox vtubers that already exist sort of thing i'm just gonna be confident with my lines yeah and oh i kind of like that actually is that or be called a copy yeah because then like that's the issue with like all the the c vtubers too right there's like so much shit that happens all the time with like actual actual c tubers of being called like copies and stuff that's crazy. My VTuber thing is great. Thanks! I made it up all myself. Welcome, Nozu. Welcome, welcome, welcome. At some point, the proportions become more streamy line, hot swappable. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
I mean, where does the I just try in our hand at art again? It's been a while since I've done some RT, RT farty. So now I'm doing the ya technique that you gotta do sometimes to make art work. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hua, ya, hua, hua. Yeah, I do those, uh, kind of pull those out from time to time. You guys into collarbones? Are we, uh, collarbones are hot kind of, kind of gang? Because they kind of are. Kind of are. Hmm, not like, oh! I don't like how that one came out. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> yes, please. Please read my message the only time I ask. But the, the, it's a big sea on blurry. I don't have clapping on my soundbar, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie there, huh? You don't have to say you have to lie. It's fine. This is a judgment free zone until you say something I don't like and then I judge you heavily. <laughs> then it becomes a judgment zone again. Let's see, so that would go like this. Oops. Like that. Kind of like that a little. Do -de -do, de -do -de -do. I'll mess with it later. I like collarbones. Har har har. <laughs> what? Okay, you guys say something. Say if I think it's freaking crazy weird and I time you out. <laughs> They're fine. Are you guys into feet? That'll get you timed out 100%. <laughs> if you're a feet enjoyer. Enjoy drawing the collarbone. Yeah, collarbones are fine. You go like this and like this and then nope. And then you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do is also follow this and then this will help like when you're drawing the shoulder. Like it's supposed to end kind of around there, sort of, kind of. Uh, again, I don't have any art skills. Who am I to teach the masses? I'm avoiding the face because I don't feel like drawing it right now. Oh my god, we're two and a half hours in. <sighs> If we're lucky, I will get this finished on stream today. That would be the goal. Even if it's just uh, like a line art, even if I don't get the color it today on stream. I think it would like go up, right? Because of your collarbone, it hits it in the angle. So like it would go kind of like that. Kind of bouncy off it, like boing. Oh my god. Don't look at these uh, plays, guys. It's not Valo again. Kind of like that. I'm gonna cut off these ends, but kind of like that. And then I gotta hide the collie bone. Maybe not so much bumping. Maybe a little less bumpage right there. If you insist, I do wish to be crushed between some thick thighs by a tomboy. Hunk. <laughs> You're the crazy. You're the crazy. Maybe if you're nice on the subathon, you'll unlock the goal for me to commission some spicy art. Like that. I don't know if I really like that. Did it not notice I put up my eraser? It's like not act uh, recognizing my eraser right now. Huh? Oh, I'm on a different layer? How did that happen? How did I open another layer? Huh? And if you guys are nice, we'll get the, we'll get the, the spicy comma stretch goal. Maybe, maybe. Where's that one I want to go? This. Get out of here. 
I have that as a decently high stretch goal. Like I said, I made some pretty uh, pretty high stretch goals, I ain't gonna lie. They start at 25 and they only go up from there. <laughs> the spicy, oh no, I took the spicy one off. Sorry, never mind, I lied to you guys. Because I, I didn't want my whole, hopefully I'll already be paid. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. So it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be like a full 72 hours, you know, if that takes place across like multiple days. I'll stop the timer like when stream stops and stuff. Um, so you guys get the most of it. So it'll be like a full actual 72 hours of a thon. Um, I, cause there's no way I'm streaming like 72 hours straight. Like 12 hours at one time killed me. Um, so initially I had spicy art on here, but because like half of the sub goals are me getting something commissioned, I didn't want the whole subathon just to be stuff to get commissioned. So it's like a balance of things to get commissioned versus things I can do or things for stream to like uh, uh, like increase the kind of stuff we can do on stream. So I just I didn't want everything to be like a sub goal. Don't you ask me to make our art into a T-shirt? Nah, Nini. You can make so much money off of that. We have to like go pay the artist more. <laughs> I got a piece of art. Uh, recently, kind of related to the one. Well, it is related to the one year anniversary. No, why is this back on a eraser? That is a. Uh, oh, is it reading? Oh Lord, don't tell me. No, huh? Done, Samuel. Oh, why did it? Ugh. There you go. I don't know why it changed the color. Um, it's expensive to get art for merch and stuff. Cause uh, I did commission something for the one year anniversary. It's not merch. I'm gonna just be honest. But something I commissioned, I did ask for the merch rights, just like in case down the line, sort of thing. And uh. That was, uh, that was expensive. I'm not gonna lie, that was expensive. Uh, why is there a purple line here? Huh? Is that just only on clip? Please just be only on clip. Okay, it's just on clip. I don't know what that purple line is. I don't know what I did. It's not a ruler. Is it this thing? Oh, it is this thing. What? Is Why do you not like rock music? It's just not for me. I don't know. Just never been a big rock music person. It's like, okay, but merch would be crazy, but have to start simple. Well, like no matter what merch you get, unless you can draw, which clearly <laughs> I'm passable, but not like on the scale of like a merchandising sort of thing. Um, I think it was like on size eight. Um, No, and then I was on the pen. That's my other issue. Um, like it's a lot because, like, let's say it commissions a hundred dollars just for like an illustration. It's up to the artist how much they want to charge, but then they could charge like ask for double the cost so you can have the merchandising rights. So that's two hundred bucks for an illustration. Like, um, it's it's like it's expensive to get merch and stuff. Uh, like again, if I was like a crazy good artist, then I could just make it all myself, and then like. It'd really just be on, uh, hmm. <laughs> really just be on me to get it done sort of thing. Um, but since I'm not on that level to do my own merchandise, I don't know what I'm doing with this brow. Put this out of here for now. Um, I have to go to artists and stuff for it, which is totally fine, because then that means artists, like, they get the, they get more, uh, money and, uh, and support themselves. I'm gonna do the thing people do. It's like, it's hard to make it look good though. Yeah. Copy, paste, give to me. This only works sometimes is the other issue. What? I think I'm gonna hands out. <laughs> We're not gonna leave it that big. This only works like sometimes because you have to angle it right. A little big, so yeah, we're gonna cheat today and do that. I think I think we're gonna cheat a little bit. 
Get rid of some of this crazy eyeliner I got over here. Yeah, we're gonna cheat today for sure. How much longer are you gonna stream? I have to get your hair color right. Uh, like a little under two more hours. I'm trying to make it so every stream's about four hours. I'm trying. Um, but yeah, merch stuff's like really expensive. I, I'm obviously I'm not at the point where we're gonna do merch. Nothing's happening for the one year anniversary in terms of merch. Bursting bubbles now. But I am slowly starting to get art pieces that I get the merch rights for, for eventually down the line. But again, because it's so expensive, it's like maybe one of those like every like two to three months. <laughs> Depending on what kind of art it is. The one I have right now is really expensive. Um, even though I would only do real simple merch for like a merch drop, like I would just do prints. Uh, like charms, a standee, and probably like buttons and stuff for like a first drop of merch. It also depends how well it would sell. Like if you guys are gonna fork over your cash, or if you guys are gonna be cheapskates and not give me your money. See a standee? I love a standee. I love standees. I have a lot of standees. I only have a couple VTuber ones, but uh, I'm not into those VTubers anymore because they're Niji Swangy. Plus also, I feel like I got super scammed with the Niji Sanji acrylic stands because they're one-sided. <laughs> and with shipping and stuff, I ordered, what did I order? I ordered like two standees. I think that was it. I think I just ordered two standees. And I think my total order with shipping was like $50. It was like way too much. And I would have been more okay with it if they were double-sided, but they were single-sided standees. I've never owned a single side of Sandy. All of my other standees from like artists and like from those little books I buy and from conventions are all double sided. So if I get a standee, even if it's more money, which it is like a little bit more because again, I've worked with like menus before. I want it to be double sided. I think single side standees are kind of a scam. <laughs> Like, it's just a big charm. It's the same thing with like single sided acrylic charms. I think those are a scam too. I don't like that at all. Um, so yeah, I would make it double sided. I'm not saying each side would be different, but like it would be at least double sided because I just think it looks really ugly having like a white, like plain boring back on the sandy. Hello, welcome, uh, Vaki, welcome, welcome. I have only one sandy and it's single sided now. Most sandies are double sided. Like, uh. Does Cinder have a store? She does. Does she have standees? Her dockies are crazy. That's a whole bot on her doggy. I don't think she has standees, does she? At least not right now. Does the charm say it's double sided at least? <laughs> yeah, it says double sided mirror. That means both sides are the same, which I think is way better. I think having double sided is way, way better. Um, I'm trying to think who would have a standy. Does Shay Lily do merch? I feel like I like. I mean, I don't follow her super closely. I feel like I've never seen like merch from her. I know she does the the the, the gamey cuppies. Oh, you know what? Be sure to be sure. To. I wonder if they have double sided standees in their little store. I'm gonna go peek at it really quick. Peeky, peeky, peeky. Um, shop all. Can I narrow it down to standees? Uh, Mouse probably has a standee. Let me see. Sorry, stepping away from the Artie again. Oh, hers is on Stay Tuned. Ugh. Are they classify him? <gasps> no. Oh, they don't have their. They don't have anything in stock right now. Dang it, dude. I'm trying to come look at your standees and you don't have anything. I'm surprised with something like V-Shoujo, they don't have like, I mean, pre-orders are the easiest and best thing to do. So, you know, you get like money and people actually buying your stuff. I'm surprised they don't have stock all the time. Uh, this sucks. I was gonna show what like a double-sided standee looked like, but a lot of the times double-sided standees 
It's just the same image mirrored on the back. But I still think it's better than uh, uh, than just like having a plain white side. Because like I said, with the Niji Sanji thing, I think it was just really, I don't know. It was kind of a slap in the face, I feel like, when I bought it. Because it was like, you're this massive company <laughs> and I bought your standees. <laughs> And they're single-sided and they do the thing which a lot of companies do and it's the cheaper smarter thing where they just like Reuse the art for multiple things. So like if they have like a There's a little goober, right? And this is the pose on the goober. So this is the goober and then this is the goober on a print and then this is the goober As like a, a standee. There's your standee and then here's the goober's face on a button <laughs> and it's just it's it's the lazy cheap thing to do which i'm like not faulting them for doing that like i'm not a big fan of it but i mean it makes sense right do the cheap lazy thing um whatever saves you the most money sort of thing um but yeah it just it's kind of silly that like I bought that merch and it was just not like super great merch for the price it was so um i have not bought merch from them again i prefer i like how a lot of indie vtubers tend to have a lot more variety in their merch like they will reuse illustrations because again it's still expensive but i feel like with the indie side of things i feel like i see people more often than not at least try to have a lot of different illustrations with their merch thing especially for like the bigger indies um i kind of i kind of like that about it i feel like they try to be a little different and have more like variety with what they're uh, putting out there uh, what am i trying to do with this like that that's what i want all right this is kind of funny again you're just like a big corporate company and you're <laughs> You're not doing a lot of fun different things with your merch. It's just a lot of the same old same old that you've been doing which again fine, whatever, right? Uh, oh shit, so I hate the old geese, right? They can put more effort. Yeah, like Keep bashing on EG because that's all I'm good at. I Just want to show you what I mean as like an example. Like, they just dropped, like, a shit ton of, like, merch lines out of nowhere. Very interesting. But, like, here it is. It's the Welcome to Niji Ian Land thing, right? There you go. Also very interesting to end in the conspiracy theory route of things. They have uh, don't have a lot of Alira on the merch anymore. Anyway. But, like, so you come here. It's fine, Art. I don't think they're bad. I think they're cute. Like... I, I think they're cute designs. I like their little uniforms and stuff. But then you come to the buttons and the buttons are the exact same faces as a standee. Again, fine, not like typically crazy. They're not the only ones to do that. But then you come to the tote bags and it's the exact same art on the tote bags too. <laughs> And they don't even have like a group tote bag. Like I, I think it's crazy that they don't have like one with everybody on it as like a group design, even if it's just like their symbols or their mascots or something. And then you come to like the little ticket cards and it's the same art again. It's they commissioned two, four, six, seven pieces of art from probably in-house artists and stuff, right? And they just reused it for all of it and the marketing. Like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's it it's smart in a sense because you are saving money but like i think this is a like really excessive you know what color is your hair is brown struggling big companies trying to stay float the true is the top the true color and it shaded in dark brown oh it's kind of like a highlight so on the top i got my little highlights from the light but that's what i'm saying it's just like it feels really lazy no <laughs> my fucking shit and then they did this with this line too which like again i think this is super cute i think this is a super cute line i really like the little chibis i think they're genuinely like super cute but then it's that's the only illustration for the whole line 
I think these work super adorably as like little standees. I think these work super like wow. I think these are adorable. I really like the art. But then there are also this greeting card, which I don't understand how the greeting card thing works. And then there are also this huge ash washi, which this is pretty cool. I've never seen a washi this big, I will admit. I know, Bono. Not real bald. This is cool. I like this washi. It's like a big sticky note, but it's a washi. I think it's cool. I think it would have been cheaper if you just did a memo pad because I've done memo pads, but what do I know? And then again, you have this like $7 notepad that's like, <laughs> it's the same thing again. And like, I can tell you, like, my brain is so massive. They're just on here. And then the inside is just, yeah, it's just a plain ass like notepad on the, in the inside. So it just stinks because they have these really cute like illustrations. They like genuinely do, but it's just the same shit repeated over and over and over again. Like it's just, there's no variety in these little merch drops they have, which is like, if I wanted to buy these, it doesn't feel like there's any reason, even though like little petite line, this I could excuse a little more because they're little chibis. They work standees that are small and like charms that are small, totally fine. But it just like, I don't know, again, you have like all of this money and <laughs> it's just the same merch like over and over and over again. Like it doesn't feel like there's any variety. Even these, like even the AR thing, which they should be putting so much money and effort into. This is like the only thing that they have like a variety of merch because they know they need people to like come and buy. But again, it's still repeat stuff, like the standee stuff like is like repeated on some of the other stuff like it's not all 100 percent original if i was them i would have got new stuff for everything i would make the standees different than these like stamp little whatever things and the buttons i would get different art for every little thing because this is like your big hallmark event and this is gonna be your make or break right because people are pissed with niji <laughs> like this is your make or break if people are gonna want to stick around you know Meepa's EP, go on the bed, have a good night, Meep. I just, if I was them, I would have done everything different, but like the buttons overlap with, I think the rubber stamp designs too, yeah, they do. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying, it's just all repeat. I would have had totally original buttons, totally original standees, totally original postcards. I would have put a shit ton of money into it. I think it's fine if they want to reuse it like twice on smaller things. Yeah, the bigger things are my issue, like, but again, for this big thing, which is like Ian's only concert, like they're ever gonna do probably, because we don't know how like this is gonna go. I would have just pulled out all of the stops. I would have gone crazy. <laughs> like, you need people to want to buy this stuff because of how just like not great the company has been doing lately, you know? Like you need people to want to buy your shit. And I don't like the repeating stuff. I think again every now and then is fine, but I, I in general don't like the repeating of merch because I think it's kind of a little lazy. Where does my freaking pen keep going, huh? Oh, why? I don't know, that's my rant of the day. Where? Like, why is this not working? I don't understand why that's not working right now. What is going on with my tablet? This is what happens when you have an old ass tablet. It doesn't like register properly half the time. Oh, it's okay. I thought about years ago getting one of those, uh, like what is this? Like, this is what I'm saying. This is like not registering. Even though I'm trying to erase. Oh, now it wants to register. <gasps> Wait, did I draw this on a new layer? Oh. Uh, oh, because I copied the eye. <sighs> Played myself like a fool. I can combine the layers on a second. Let me. Here, let me combine the layers. Where is the combine button? Merge. There you go. Nice. There we go. All back on one happy layer. Forgot when I copied the eye, it was gonna make a new one. 
I really did. I put myself bad. I'm making like zero progress on this. Who? That's okay. I'll make a lot of progress. I'll get it done. Never bought any Niji merch. And I probably shouldn't have either. I bought two standees because I like standees because they're like a figure, but they're more often than not cheaper than an anime figure and they take up way less space. So if you're like, like, uh, not somebody that has like a lot of free space, I like standees because they take up so much less space storing them, but also displaying them. And some standees get super elaborate. You can have like a basic standee is called like a two piece standee. So it'll have a, I'm just gonna come over here again. So it'll have your little goober on top and that's piece one. Here's your little goober. He's outlined in his acrylic. And then piece two is like the base that he plugs into. Like that's a basic standee, but then you can get fancier and you can have like a three piece standee where maybe there's a background or a four piece standee where there's like foreground item or some standees are even crazier. I've seen one where it's like a crescent moon shape. It's got a little dangle, a little dude like hanging out down here. Like <laughs> you can get really creative with standees, but obviously the more creative and bigger you get, like the more expensive they're going to be. I feel like this is not increasing at all, huh? Huh? That's not what I should be doing at all. Oh, so that was not on my race button. No, I'll zoom out and fix that. Oh, yeah. But most standees you'll find even in stores or if you buy it like a convention or something or from an artist, like most people just do two piece because the more pieces of acrylic you have, the more expensive it's going to be. And then especially if you have like a dangle thing, which I actually have a dangle standee. It's a one piece one. It's like Luffy. He's hanging in the center. He's like dangling. Uh, it's really cute, but um, I don't know personally how much it would have cost if I bought it on its own because I bought it in one of those like a uh, Zine book bundle things that I buy. So I'm assuming on its own, it would easily be like a 20 to $25 standee probably. Easily. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, bring this in here a little. But yeah, well, maybe we'll do a stream where I take some of my other older drawings that I have that I haven't done anything with, and I can uh, bring them on stream, and we could try and uh, finish them out. I have some that are like line art it or they're all done on paper so i just would need to like line art them and color them like i made hip mic ocs because i'm such a cool kid i make ocs okay this is where it gets interesting because again i've never drawn an overall before right so it kind of wraps like that i mean not so much on the nubbiness it's probably not like the perfect angle for this either and then I'm just gonna do a faint line, so then it would go like this. Or this would be a little thicker. I'm doing it a little thicker because it's metal. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. OC stands for original whole person. Yeah, so. No, no, I like OCs. I mean, most VTubers are OCs, if you think about it. <laughs> like. You can start as most people, like an original character, or like a concept, or something. Like, most VTubers are OCs to an extent, whether uh, somebody wants to admit it or not. I mean, most VTubers are just role-playing anyway. That's what OCs are for. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't do that. I'm trying to zoom over here. I would anybody not want two minutes? Some people are. Overall, is it cozy? Yeah. See, I have an easy VTuber to cosplay too, guys. If you want to cosplay me, it's so easy. Go buy a pair of overalls at like your local thrift store, and then you just need a black tank top, some belts and gloves. The goggles are the hardest thing, but you could probably find base like steampunky goggles at like Party City or something, and then just like elevate them there. <laughs> See, I make it easy for you guys to cosplay. Some VTuber designs are so complicated to cosplay as guys. I'm easy. Some people don't want to admit that they're into the role play side of it. I mean, no matter what, unless your VTuber, like unless your name is Bob and your VTuber's name is Bob, 
and it's just you, but you're just anime Bob. <laughs> like, it's all roleplay. What if I can't find anything to cosplay you? Also need some balloons. <laughs> yeah, you can do the water balloon. And you can do other AKs. You can make uh, you can make a bunny girl AK. You can dress up as bunny girl AK. I got art of that out. You can also be uh, there's a classic folds I like to do to add a depth. Uh, <laughs> you can also do a uh, pajama AK. I do have a pajama outfit. You can do all sorts of AKs. That's usually what people do if a character has like a really complicated design, whether it's like a VTuber or like Genshin characters, for example. People will buy like a wig and they'll do their makeup and stuff to look like the character, but they'll do like a casual wear or like another thing. Hello, I'm a chillin' here after getting dunked on in JoJo's fighting game on Yoho. Welcome, Ellie. Welcome to Scuffed Art 101. Hope you're ready for your exam. Okay, and then the belt is a, like a thicker leather belt. Uh, AK-47, you could. You draw me like I'm uh, 47 years old. Then I MILF AK at that point. Yes, sir. Yeah! I'm trying. Here it is. It's, it's down here. It's cooking. <laughs> Welcome, bagel man. Welcome. No, oh, I gotta do my lingy. One second. I didn't want to do it. Oh my god. Okay, I have another hour to finish this. I think I definitely could. I could finish it. I think at least the liner. I could do probably like a, a flat color thing. The birthing him? Huh? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Why the why the f is the AI so hard to fight? I'm a three star difficulty out of six. I'm getting shit. That's what happens when you fight the AI. <clears throat> it's crazy. Like I wish there was a more. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I wish there was a way. Like it'd be nice if every game had like the same like difficulty of AI, but obviously they can't because they're all different games and there's all this stuff. But uh, it would be nice and then you at least could be like, well, in uh, Tekken, when I fight the Tekken AIs, I'm on a level two, so that means on JoJo I'd also be a level two, you know. My... Umberto. Where are all these questions about umbrellas? My hat is, my hat is red. How are you so sure you're not the crazy one? I know I'm a crazy one. It's not even a question. I know I'm psycho crazy, guys. <clears throat> that my hat. Oh. It's crazy, Ron. They put me in a rubber room filled with rats. And the rats make me crazy. Just befriend the rats. Easy. Let's become their friend. Mm -hmm. Here you go, we all got your rat kisses. Sorry, I also got a phone message I was looking at. 
looking at Rather be fed to rats and hear another rat pasta. Rat. Teach one kung fu or martial arts and even splinter trail. As all. Befriend. I told you, befriend the rat. I tell you, it's so easy. Not ASMR. You don't get them all. No way. I'm on my belt. One of my 17 belts. They're all Gucci and Louis and uh, Prada and uh, Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> Just throw out every big brand name I can think of. And the belt kind of kind of do things. I need to kind of cut it off up there. Hello, Tabby. Hi. Oh. Rent. I keep seeing the scary ad. What do you guys redeem? I can't see them right now. I must see. I don't know why the like on screen alerts aren't popping up. I really do not know. The medicine for inflammation. Oh. oh I'm gonna come to chat. I'm gonna peek. Alright stream, I'm trying. I'm trying. A save girl. Oh, thank you. I will. I will save. Yeah, I don't know why the on-screen alerts are not working right now. Oh, no, I saved. You see my little hourglass? Let me see the hourglass. I just saved. I just have. I'm arting. Definitely not farting. No sorry. Can't catch me with those accusations. I'm gonna redo this corner. How are your alerts done through Mix It Up? So they're actually like, I have the chat redeem ones through Twitch because I, I simul stream. So every time I stream, I do a uh, Twitch and. Oh, okay, I have to look at this thing later. Um, I got an email for something like work. Ugh, gross, it's like 11 o'clock, leave me alone. Uh, but I simul stream, and but it's no, because I simul stream, I use restream because uh, my internet does not have enough for me to like simul stream without restream. So on uh, my end of OBS, so I can see the chatters from both YouTube and Twitch, I use the restream chat box, but it doesn't show me the stream alerts, like from stream elements or anything. It doesn't show that stuff in the chat for me. And so I have the alerts set up so on Twitch, it'll tell me like what people redeemed on the screen. But for some reason they're like not uh, showing up right now. I don't think it's like the order thing. I don't know if they got deleted off of this screen. Cause technically like my capture for my art is like all the way at the bottom of the order on the sources. So technically it should be showing. So yeah, I don't know why it's kind of being a single butthole. I don't know why. So it's okay. Well, that's another thing to add to the list of future AK uh, checky outy problems that I don't want to deal with right now. <laughs> it's another future AK problem, and uh, I am not future AK, thank God. It usually happens those future AK doesn't even check, and then we end up in an endless cycle of it never getting fixed. See, yeah, but like, I don't understand why they're not working on this side because they will work when I do the gaming stuff. And I went and checked, so I have like a folder. So in OBS, you can make little sources. So I have a folder that's have to have. So it's stuff that goes on all of them. And it'll show, uh, like, it'll have tits on here. It'll have the emote wall, point redeems, etc. And because I have the game below it, all of those should be showing above the game. Uh... And even though I have Sprout like at the top, technically, it should still be showing because Sprout is see-through. So I don't really know why they're not showing up. 
It's a, again, future AK problem, not a current AK uh, dilemma if I've ever had one. <laughs> Following the slide. Whoosh. Shit. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah, it works. That's how that bell's gonna look for now. Uh, welcome, Cereal. Welcome. Welcome, I love Cereal. How you doing? This would not be how this looks, though, because this is like a leather belt. So it needs to be a little more firmy. I think it was right before the one second crash. Oh. It could be a Twitch thing, then. Maybe something's going on on Twitch's end. Maybe they're not showing up because, like, something on Twitch. If it's a Twitch thing, then I don't really know. Um, I don't even know why we crashed, because I didn't even get an alert on the... Uh on my uh, OBS that this stream had been disconnected until you guys were like screaming, you're like, oh! It's the only reason I found out. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I gotta go deal with this work thing when we're done with stream. So stupid. It's 11 o'clock, give me a yawn. The question is, like, loopies here for a little, little belt. Technically, there's like a circle spool somewhere. I'm not getting that out. You get what you get with me right now. Okay, the next band needs to be here. Since it's more front facing, it doesn't need to be super curved. I say as I make it super curved. <laughs> Leave them on red. It's just the it's a thing that you're like, oh well, you didn't do this. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I did this, but let me email the person you told me to email. And I just emailed the person, and they're like, oh no, you did this. And I have to go back to the first person and tell them, oh no, the person told me I already did this, so. Uh, can't wait to get in the JLB, so I don't worry about those bullshit moments. In the process of getting a new uh, JLB, fingers crossed. I'm still very much in like the application stages, so it's gonna be a little bit. If only I could just be a hot anime girl all the time, guys. Right? So, uh, I'm at the hospital right now. I hope you feel better soon, Cereal. Got a tummy ache from hell? No. I'm trying to draw myself. It's a worky progress. Uh, <laughs> it's just coming along. I figured I would at least try to draw myself for, for once. The only part of me I've really drawn before is technically my uh, helmet. Um, become a Tommy Egg Survivor. Yeah, buy the t-shirt when you leave the hospital. Tommy Egg Survivor. Um, technically, I did come up with my, like, my goggle design. So I have technically sort of drawn myself before. Because, like, I have to, have to, like, at least have the goggle reference to give uh, Cyan. Hit. Hey. Yeah, that's good enough. I've never actually, like, fully drawn myself before. So I think I should give it a try. You don't need my vibe. Get out of here. There you go. Chugged a bottle of expired milk and three expired cereal. It was a challenge. Oh. Don't do don't don't do silly internet challenges. They are not worth your, your health. Don't be doing silly internet challenges. There's people that end up in the hospital from doing like the cinnamon challenge. I know people don't really do the cinnamon challenge anymore, but like, because if you inhale it a certain way, it gets like into your lung. And your own health and well being is not worth internet points, to be completely honest with you. Oh, ah. Oh, oh, wait, I almost cooked there. A second. <laughs> cooking, okay. We're cooking. This is like direct lander here, so let's do it like this. Four hundred bucks and a thousand dollar medical bill. Yeah, so only six hundred dollars, <laughs> if that. Because then if you have to go back for more testing and stuff, then they'll be like, "Oh, take more money." And then the gas to get there or the Uber. It's not worth it. 
The only challenge I accepted is the fire noodle challenge, but because I already know I like spicy noodles, mm, or spicy food, mm -mm. I don't know if I would do good with the spicy noodle challenge. Like, I like spicy food, but I'm used to more, like, Mexican spicy food than I am, like, Asian spicy food. I could still eat, like, Asian spicy food, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Never type that message in your chat ever again. What do you mean? I'm trying. I'm trying. It's like a lot to read and art at the same time. My doctor said just eat a pill and bleach. Oh, don't go to that doctor. The doctor. Oh my god, help. Lying to you. I need to sleep on time, get eight hours. True. <laughs> we all need to sleep on time, get eight hours for real, for real challenge. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. It looks like a little, a little wiener. I don't, I don't want to look like a little wiener. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave it as a little wiener. It's fine. It kind of looks like a mushroom when I put the little end on him. It actually doesn't look like half bad. He's still kind of a little wiener-like, but not like horribly offensive wiener. He kinda, he kinda look like a wiener, I don't wanna tell you. Oops, I should probably erase these over here or I'm gonna forget to do those. Trying to also add folds, so there's less I gotta do. If I add folds, there's less I gotta draw on the belt. Hacking into the art of me frame. Oh, no, I don't want it that high. Maybe like a little? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna get rid of this little nub too. Do the mommy voice? Oh, you think I have a mommy voice? That's so crazy. <laughs> Do I look like I got a mommy voice? That's wild. I'm bold of you to assume every female VTuber has a mommy voice. Crazy. You can always try. Do the mommy voice? Have I ever done a mommy voice, guys? <laughs> Do you know who you're watching? <laughs> nah, it's still a little creepy when I'm with it. Don't be don't be encouraging each other. You guys are crazy. You know what my mom voice is? Go fucking do your dishes. Did you clean the toilet today? Huh? Did you do your fucking laundry that's been sitting out for a week? I cleaned that two weeks ago. It's just sitting in your chair. I'm getting pissed off looking at it. I'm not doing your your laundry anymore. There's your mom voice. How about that? That's all I can do. Can we have a nice voice? I don't know my mommy though. Yeah, I don't have the register for a mommy voice. <laughs> you reprimanded us? Yeah, I did it. I just did it. That's your mom for me. I'm not gonna be like on Valorant. I'm gonna be like, oh, I do, I do, oh, but for me, I'm gonna get, no. <laughs> you guys get, go fucking do your laundry. That's what you get for me. <laughs> oh, I might have mucked this a loop a little too close. Ah, symmetry, symmetry, whatever. Put this little bit right here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, it makes more sense since it has more loops. It's gotta be more secure. I'll leave my laundry in the basket so it's empty. I'm not doing your laundry anymore then. If I can grow up and learn how to do laundry, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Hmm. 
There's that two baskets. Oh my fucking god. Do laundry after you do the dishes, huh? Listen, I only do that for my future husband when I'm a future housewife, and that's only happening if you make at least a hundred thousand dollars a year. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I ain't working. No siree. I'm, uh, I'm aiming for that housewife status on the double and the triple. Draw faster. Art takes a while. I'm not gonna rush it. I wanna. I wanna make it like better uh, because it's my first one I've done in a while. I'm like, and I also have to like keep looking at my reference because I've never drawn myself before. So I have to keep <laughs> looking over at my little reference sheet I have <laughs> off to the side. Yeah, I get the camera on him. Yeah, yeah. Everything stays forever on the internet, even when you think you delete it. Like, if I drew more and I was more just, like, accustomed to drawing, like, that's one of the skills that's really good to have when you become, like, a more prolific uh, artist is the ability to draw a lot faster because you, like, really understand the concepts and the anatomy and all that kind of stuff. Perfection? Oh, we're not going for perfection. <laughs> I'm just going for passable. But, like, a decent passable. But, yeah, once you, like, get a really good handle on art, one of the skills you pick up is your ability to really like get even like the basics down really fast like uh you can watch some artists and like for really complicated pieces of course it's still gonna take a while but they get their basic comp and all that down like really really fast that's one of the things that can make you a really strong artist is if you have that skill and you know, unlock <laughs> Also, this is like, these are things I've never drawn before. Like, I've never drawn overalls before, so... Kind of like a learning curve, too. I'm gonna learn how to... Draw it myself, because I've never drawn it before. So that's also got, like, a little bit of a learning curve to it. Because even though my design is pretty simple, it's still, like, elements I'm not, like, really accustomed to, or never had to, like, be accustomed to before. So, it takes me a little bit to get used to it. Can you do my OCs that I've drawn before? I usually go with like a more simplistic style. I don't usually go like super crazy. Because the more complicated your design is, the harder it is to like draw it. Like I saw one VTuber, I can't remember their name right now. I felt bad because she was saying how um she uh she had been rejected by like 30 skev artists, which is crazy. I'm I don't think I've ever been rejected i've just had it where like people accepted it but then they like didn't complete the um piece in time so then it like i ended up getting a refund um but part of it at least in like their mind and it's probably kind of true is that their uh sleeves like the design on their sleeve is kind of complicated like i saw it and i was like oh that is <laughs> kind of complicated so when you have like over complicated stuff you do run the risk of like artists whether they're people you commission or like fan artists not um like feeling confident in their own abilities to uh draw what you uh like are requesting of them which is totally fine i mean like but it's also probably better on the artist to know their limits and be like hey realistically i can't do this like it does suck if you reach out to somebody and they're like they don't want to accept your commission but that is like one of the things you kind of risk when you take on a, like a really complicated design for your model and stuff. Um, you run the risk of people not being able to or not being willing to uh, draw it. Kind of rough. Um, some designs are so complicated my hands would die. Yeah, I mean like a good example is the Genshin characters. Like they all look really cool, right? I would never want to draw that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, they all are so complicated. There's so many fine little details and, like, accessories and different, like, textiles and textures that they use. Like, it's so complicated. 
and that's the same thing with like some VTubers. I think that's why a lot of VTubers have kind of like gone more the trend of like tech wear and street wear because also when you have a really crazy like detailed design it's also going to cost more just to even get the model art you know like you have to find somebody like willing to do the model art um and that can be really hard to find somebody that's like willing to do that too because of how crazy your design might be you know It'll cost more to get commissions yeah like it definitely will like this again like another risk is like your model's gonna cost more commissions are gonna cost more like all around like i understand why people want like crazy complicated models or like super detailed models i really do i just i think it's better <laughs> like to go the more simplistic route honestly i think your bank account is gonna like you more it encourages more like fan art and fan creations of your design and stuff too, I think, personally. So like, I think in overall it's a win-win to have a not super crazy simple, like mine might be a little too simple, honestly, but I kind of like it that way. But yeah, it, like you run a big risk of having overcomplicated stuff. People might not want to make fan art of you. Like if you're bigger, people maybe not might not even want to if you allow it, right? Might not even want to make like fan merch of you at the silicon cons because it's too complicated. Yeah, should I do to simplify their designs? Yeah, like yeah, like Genshin is a really big example. Like Genshin, uh, Honkai, they're all pretty good examples of like overcomplicated to the point where it like it hurts like your artist but at the same time you could argue like oh it like makes people like kind of perfect their art or like kind of try a little bit more maybe with their art it's like a mean way to put it i guess makes people like try out like to get out their comfort zone but again it can backfire really easily too I'm gonna figure out where the booby is gonna come in. It sneaks too, because also on Twitch, you gotta be careful like how you draw art and stuff. Because uh, they might come and get you. They come and get you. I also have another complaint about how Hoyoverse design. It's hard to tell what their personalities are when they're all flashy. Oh yeah, because like if they're all super complicated, it's hard to tell like what's a oops, what's a more like simplistic like character personality wise or more like in depth and stuff or who might be more like reclusive. Like uh, what's the one dude? I uh, I'll hate them. Like he's like a book nerd, but the way he's drawn like. It's not the, the thing you get from him at all. So, you know, like, then, you, yeah, you run a risk of your character, like, uh... I guess their readability is probably the word I want to use. Not being, like, what you want it to be. Because the people might, like, misinterpret the character and stuff ahead of time. I think that's like a big thing in character design is you want to have a strong, uh, uh, like, like, you look at a character and you should be able to get hints of, like, their personality and who they're like, or if they have powers, what their powers could be. Like, that's a really big thing in character design is, like, readability that way. Not drawing fan art because your character's simple. I like your mod. Okay, cool. I like your mod. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. But it does help that it's simple. <laughs> It does help. It even is helping me. Even though I'm taking like fucking forever. It's helping me. Ah! 
Okay, I've avoided the face for a very long time, but it's kind of worked out. I'm getting the, the belts and shit knocked out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the hands. I'm very tempted to do the haha -ha funny put it behind the back thing because I've I'm very not hand trained anymore. It's been way too long. But we can get that, that dumpy going for real at least. We can get that dumpy going. Oh that's not a good dumpy. That's too much dumpy. We have to have a the equilibrium of dump. That's good. Okay, there's a dumpy. Um, have a proper dumpage going on. Nice dumpy, extra dumpy. There they go. <laughs> Would I be me without my dumpy? No, sorry. Pixar mom sick. Surprise there's not actually a VTuber. As far as I know, that is very leaned into the Pixar mom level of dumpage. Because I mean, most of the time you see like, this is what you see. So most people do focus on like top elements. That's another thing, actually. Good point, brain. Thank you, brain. Um, I saw like people, uh, like had, somebody had made a video. I thought it was a very good point. Talking about, you also have to be like careful with your um, like, a lot of VTubers because they prioritize the top of their model, which understandable because you, most of the time you're seeing like chest up, really, like just most of the time. You run the risk of then the bottom half of your design being really plain or feeling like detached from the rest of your design because you spend a lot of your time and effort on uh, the top portion of your design, you know? So then you like. You could have like a really like just kind of plant like let's say you're really tech wear heavy and then you like cool gadgets and belts and holograms and holographic material up top and then you get to the bottom and it's just like black pants and shoes you know <laughs> where like i think mine's a pretty good like still fun and busy at the bottom i got boots i got little little pouchy a little swang i got some tools on my belt you know like it's still like busy but it still also feels like the same design. Mama Sign does such a good job. But I think there's some VTubers uh, that like the model feels like really disconnected. Like it feels like two different models, like top and bottom sort of thing, you know? It's like if I took my top and I put it on like, I don't know, like Gura's bottom, like it'd be so like, so disconnected, <laughs> you know? Like so totally different models and stuff. Is that, is that you? I'm gonna put your model upside now. It's me. Looks great. Definitely sells me on the research. Thanks. Is it go flow? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think also if there's somebody that maybe started as like, uh, because you can, when you commission a VTuber, you can do full body like I did, or you can do half body. I don't think there's any problem either way, whichever one you want to do. Um, but I think some people, if they start off as half body and then they move on to like full body, uh, then they can run that risk too of trying to find a... Sticking with that, that looks pretty good. <laughs> like a good balance of trying to find harmony between one. I used to not have legs and now I have legs. But to be honest, like again, 90% of the time you don't use your full model. so. Like, I think most people get, like, a full body because it's just kind of the norm to get with the 2D. And then also then you have, like, a more complete feeling ref sheet in my mind. That's how I figure it. And then also if you ever do something like eventually get, like, a, uh, like a 3D model or something, then you have, like, a full sheet for the person to reference already or, like, a full model for people to look at when they're building your 3D model. Nope. I think it kind of goes like this a little. Belt. Look at my belt on the side. Slap it there, slap it out. Oh god, these got all sorts of little holes on it. I'm just gonna do like this. Show you what you do. Show me belts. 
I mean, I'm the one who approved the design. So if anybody should be yelled at, it should be me. Okay, we got one dumpage over here. We got the other dumpage coming in hot. Okay. Whah! Shoot. Hot. Hot. Four? Mm, ha. I'm gonna leave that. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that. I think those are good. Let me erase all these again. And once I get the other dumpy in, what we're gonna do? What? Oh, that's too much dumpage. Have the balance of the dump. Oh, that was almost good. Okay, we're gonna call that the dumpage for today. That's a good dumpage. This future AK that's dealing with past AK's decisions. Yeah. <laughs> the simplest I could have gone is if I was like, just put me in a t shirt and uh, some booty shorts. That's the shortest I could have, or the easiest I could have gone with the design is to cap it there. I think it's also why a lot of VTubers, when they get like a second uh, outfit, I think if they're like a really complicated, what is that? Like if they have a really complicated design for the first round, I think that's why a lot of VTubers, especially like the corporate ones, typically go like a simpler route. I think it also, one, more merch options. Two, I think it also increases your like pool of people that are working on fan art for you. Because if you're somebody like, uh like if you're like Narissa, right, from Hollow Live, she's got a lot going on. And her design's really cool. But then if you do pajama Narissa, like pajama Narissa's probably a lot easier for most people to draw than full on Narissa, you know. So I'm saying I think like simple's good. I think also too when you have like a really fantasy heavy s design, I guess you can really only go like <laughs> more simpler, more modern as the uh, alternate outfits and stuff. My only regret with my previous model not drawing a nude base. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Like when I was getting my model, I didn't really know that was a thing necessarily, so I never really considered uh, getting like one. Um, but I do see the appeal of it because like if you get, uh, you know, a nude base, which for people that don't know, it's just like, it's like a, like a, a mannequin. Like there's no, well, you can have bits, but most of the time you don't have the bits. Um, it makes it easier cause then you can go to like other artists and be like, hello, I already have a base model. Please give me art for my base model. So it's a way of, if you already really like your base art. Um, you can just go to somebody and get outfits, and then also, you're not having to get a whole new model all the time, you know? Um, so I know some people do that. It's not super- I feel like it's not super common. I feel like a lot of people, again, probably because, like, a push, because, like, big indies do it and big corporate, like, eat and just, like, stick with the same people or go, like, the 2.0 route more often. And we need a lot of parts. Keeping it moderately simple is definitely me. Yeah. So, I feel like I really don't see that many people do the thing though, where they have like a, a base model and then they go get it. I feel like just like, cause corporate or bigger indies, a lot of people are just like, oh, I'm just gonna go like get a 2.0 model. I was like, if you want to, that's fine. Just keep in mind a 2.0 is like, it means you're getting a whole new model again. <laughs> and that's expensive. Very much so. Like, I don't think I'll be getting a 2.0. Like, I don't want to say never, but like, I don't see a point in me getting one literally anytime soon. I don't even know what I would do for a two more now. I think that's my other thing. I like my theming. I like where I am. Like, I just don't know what I would do for a 2.0. I think outfits is the way to go for, for me. Okay, we can still done. The dreaded booba. I'm gonna get the booba conquered at some point. I'm gonna deal with this arm over here too. We're definitely gonna do the hide it behind the back thing, I think. 
I was gonna put it on my hip, but I really like the belt, the belt details I've done, so I, like I don't wanna like <laughs> the belt that I just wear forever on. <laughs> I think I am gonna go the hide the hand behind the back route. You can get an Iron Man suit? Oh my god. Do you know how expensive like to get like mechanical stuff is? Even to just like typical art. Like I could not imagine getting a like super mechanically heavy live 2D model. Because typical art is already so expensive. People usually charge more. Uh Unless, like, they specialize in it for, like, mechanical kind of designs and just typical art. And there's a lot of artists I see, and that's totally fine because, again, you gotta know the comfort level of what you're good with. There's a lot of artists I see that they have a policy of, like, no mechanical, no heavy armor, like, that kind of stuff in their commissions. You can always ask, but if they say no in their commission guidelines, they probably don't want to in general. Let's see, I got set up like you for two. No, oh, it's a glitter trap. No. New outfit would be worth 2.0 even without the rebrand. Mm. That's bullshit. Well, I mean, like, because here's the thing if I go to an artist, I'm like, hello, draw me. I'm literally just a girl in overalls. But then if I showed up in like a medieval suit of armor with chain mail and a sword and a horse, like, one of these things is a lot more complicated and a lot more time consuming to draw than the other. So I understand why artists would like charge more for it because me, I could, depending on the artist, you could be done with like a half body illustration of me in like a week, just like giving it an average. But me in a full suit of armor with a sword and a horse, that could be like months, you know? So it's like one of those things too, like how much you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how much you, you, you like are willing to wait and how much you're willing to spend um you know i totally get it because again like something more complicated is going to take an artist more time so they need to charge more because it's going to take up more of their time that they could be using for like other commissions and stuff you know i see i see Lots of no mecha. Yeah, lots of no mecha. There's an artist I have bookmarked. I would like to eventually get a piece of. It's also so hard to, uh, like, find an artist that can do both people and, like, mecha or, like, robots. Uh, usually, it's, like, uh, it's, like, one or the other. So, I found an artist that I'm pretty happy with both. And it's a goal on the subathon, and I hope we happen to hit it because it's very self-indulgent and I want it. <laughs> Most of the subathon goals I have are like ones I think you guys would like, ones I like, but there's a couple in there that I want for me. Thank you very much. Want to see you in an Iron Man suit? It would be cool. I just say it would be very expensive. <laughs> And right now I'm using a lot of my extra money to prep for the one year. It's been a lot of prep. I've been prepping since like September last year already <laughs> for the one year. Well, one of us needs to draw a fan art of Iron AK. Just make sure I have a cool helmet. Yeah, both draw it. You both can draw me. But one of you can draw Iron Man AK and one of you can draw Iron Suit AK. Like I'm a medieval knight. <laughs> Oh okay, god, here we go. Three, two, one. Booba. Oh, that was actually pretty decent, Booba. 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 Okay, the Booba call saves the Booba art. Okay. I'm gonna fix this, like, part of the tangy top. Okay, but screaming Booba is the way to draw a Booba. Excellent. Good to know. Put it into the neurons. So I don't forget. Okay, we got a gentle over here. Booba! So you gotta shout, and then the booba gods will bless you with a booba. Pretty happy with that boo boo. It's pretty, uh, oh shit. No! Okay, wait, so follow the line of booba, and the booba will go like 
Oh, the blue line. I raced too much, but I'm too much of a coward to go back. Maybe like that? Yeah, we'll call that good. Because I just realized you would see some on the blue book. Good deal. Not an artist who does planes and characters really well, so how to jump on it. Oh, yeah. Like, if you find somebody that does both, it's like the second they open, you gotta get on it. Because usually people that draw a mecha, like, they draw, like, a lot of, like, transformers and stuff, but maybe not as much people. But same thing with, like, people that are, like, furry artists. Like, they specialize in anthropomorphic or, like, full on animals. Maybe their people, like, aren't, like, as strong. So it's just, like, people choose to, like, focus on different things. If you find an artist that can do multiple things, that's crazy. So I gonna call it. I just woke up. Thanks for the stream. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Aircraft is part of my theme. Oh yeah. There's a there's a there's a big market, I feel like, for like aircrafty VTubers. There's a line. I think they're like a group. I don't think it's a corporate. I don't remember what they're called, but they're a lot of like aircraft or like naval craft um themed VTuber girls. Kind of like uh Oh, what's that one? I see all of the sporn of, uh, the boat girls. I can't give you the name. They give me those vibes. My favorite kind of mecha to draw is like Gurren Lagin and Mazinger Z, not realistic or cool. Yeah, yeah, I like mecha as a job. I like them really realistic. I think if you go like super realistic, then you're just more in the realm of like Power Rangers and stuff kind of thing. Okay, I guess I'll go work on the face. I put it off for too long. Is it connecting? Yeah. Oh, oh, hoggers. Oh, I like that one a lot. The shadow has fallen in the tower. Hey, you know slouching? Sorry, stream elements. <laughs> I did not do a stand up today because I also went on my like hour long walk today. So. <sighs> Hydrating, as always. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I do be slouching, don't be shrimping. Don't be shrimping. Yeah, here's the fun part because I didn't really draw this because I was putting it off. Now I gotta draw my bangs. I think I'm gonna do the bangs and then I will come back and do the goggles. I think if I do the goggles first, I'm gonna be upset when I go over it with the bang lines. Like, because it's better to overshoot and stuff instead of undershoot with the lines. So then if I, like, do the the goggles first then I'm gonna have the bangs all over it and I'll be upset when I like go over the details my hair <sighs> okay so I have like the little fringy in the middle mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to my mouse pad is dry. I hope it's dry before I go to bed. I have it hanging up in my shower right now, <laughs> drying. Because uh, I do the thing where I wash it by hand, which is what you're technically supposed to do. A lot like better for your mouse pads if you wash them by hand. I probably like overwashed it too, but it had some stains on it. I try to like when I do like a good clean on my desk, like um, like I don't know, I do like tw like at least twice a month. Like I take everything off my desk, I get it all clean. When I do that, I also clean my mouse pads. Um, it's not like that much in my well, it kind of is actually that much in my eyes, just behind my eye. I have a big mouse pad, but I don't use it. Yeah, I have like a, a long one. It's got little sharkies and stuff on it. I had a different one before this that was also a long one, but it had like a pink lemonade uh, was like the theme of it. So I had like strawberries and lemons on it. That's where I got my computer's name from. She is pink lemonade. 
So I match like the RGBs in my PC to that mouse pad, but now I have the shark ones. So they don't match anymore, but I do like the pinks and stuff, so I don't want to change it. <laughs> that's another thing that's really funny is my favorite color is pink, but I don't have a lick of pink on my uh, design at all. <laughs> it's just, uh, kind of funny how that works. Mine has a single sharky. Mine's a bunch of little sharky. This is by Umvelt. I love Umvelt stuff so much. I I bought a lot of Umvelt stuff. <laughs> uh, um, I don't even think it's pronounced Umvelt, but that's how I pronounce it. I think it's like, look at that. I'm trying to see if I can find them really far. They're also, they also be 2 b Is it not um about? Who? I love their stuff. I can never remember their name. I feel so bad. I like their stuff so much. Oh. Uh. Ah. Shark. Uh. Jeez, I can never remember their name. But I have the mouse. I got like the. They had a set they released that was mouse pad, wrist rest, and stuff very cute they also have like a deep sea one but the one i got was like the sharks rays and whales one i think was the one i got very kawaii very cute follow the color of my eyes thanks i can enhance ready oh now we go actually no ow 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 i think my eyes do the shaky thingy yeah, I do. They do shake -ums. shake -ums. My eyes are also based on the barrel eye fish. I literally went and I put him in a clip and I stole his color code and I told on the sign, I was like, I would like this color, please. And they said, yes, sir. And I said, thank you. Don't poke my eye. I got it. Now, I could have really leaned more into the CTuber theme. I'm just kind of glad I don't because I feel like there's a lot of drama that happens with the CTubers. And it's not like it's any one person creating it. It's just the whole thing of like, oh, you're a shark? Well, you know, like, Gura's a shark. And also like, oh, you're a whale or whale adjacent? You know, like, Shia Lily's a whale. <laughs> It's like, that's what I feel like a lot of the drama in the CTuber side of VTubing ends up being, is just like the comparisons. I'm really glad I didn't like lean like super heavily into the CTuber thing, as much as I would have loved to. Because after I thought about the bunny thing, my second thought was like, let me be a shark VTuber. And even though I don't really watch like Hololive as much, I was like, oh wait, girl. <laughs> even then my brain was like, don't do it. <laughs> So I didn't do it. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't. It's kind of sad because I would have liked to have been a little more fishy. But I think it's better that I didn't. Um, at least I know I'm, I'm a C-tuber at heart, you know. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not really happy with that bang, but I will allow it. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, and then my goggies are kind of big. They're like, whee! Whee! Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty content with that. And then we can just, just a little bit. There you go. Fix this end over here. Uh, this is Archstream and your first one. Have you ever played a game called Wipe Sumo? I don't think so. Let me go Google. Wipe Sumo? Probably should specify game because when I look up Wipe Sumo, it comes up with sumos and it says safe searches on. I don't want to know. <laughs> hey, so just put him in the corner. In your fucking corner. Ban this person. Never let them back. <laughs> Why would you hurt me like this? On the day of my daughter's wedding. How fucking dare you? <laughs> uh, 
I'm like, I hate you. I literally, I was searching wipe sumo and it was like safe searches on. I was like, what am I trying to not find right now? Oh, frick. Uh, I'm sad and dumb. Nothing wrong with having multiple sharks and mouth tubers. They still be different from each other. Yeah, I just like, I see it all the time. And I think like, it's sad too because I think some people like they really like people like Shy Lily and Gura and they want to like have elements like as homages to them. But then that also can go like really south really fast with people. And then I think there's some people that I think like to be honest they do it like on purpose. Like they take like really heavy inspiration from them. Maybe they're hoping like when people are searching up like whale vtuber they come up and people are like oh yeah this person oh yeah they're like shy lily but it's somebody that has like really similar elements like i think unfortunately like nobody is really going to be able to do like a big tail without being compared to her or like if you choose to do like the fins around like where her ears are and you have a tail like i think unfortunately you're kind of like gonna get compared no matter what like even if the rest is totally different, if you have a tail and like ear fins or like fins where the ears are, like unfortunately the comparisons are just gonna come in like crazy. But then there's some people that like I think they also like feed into the drama to like kind of get it spread more and their name out there more. I think there was one person like a few months ago that kind of did something similar where it was really clear like they took like a lot of um inspiration to say the least from like lily's design and they were like i don't know why people are comparing me to lily and it's like their design was like it was like lily if they were pink <laughs> kind of thing like you know but, i mean the same can happen with anything like like cinder's really big i know there's other hellhound like female vtubers and there's some i see and i'm like even I go like, oh, that's very similar to Sunder. There was one person I saw. She was a hellhound. Her main colors were orange, which again, like most people associate hell with like oranges and reds and stuff. So that's not a problem. And then they also had long, like brown hair. And I was like, mm, that's where it's getting like, you know, you have to kind of know too when you're coming up with your character, like, okay. This is getting pretty close, pretty similar to like XYZ. Maybe I need to cut back or change something. Um, but it was just like, I was looking at it and I did for a second, I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's a, like different Cinder art. And then it, was, it wasn't it was Cinder, <laughs> but it was just a very similar like coloring and like person, not personality, cause I know their personality, but a very similar like style of the Hellhound look, I think was like the main problem with it. Kind of fun. So how am I here goes? My kids are like me. This be black and white. Yeah, I mean it'd be cool. I don't think there's too many VTubers that have like a like a monochrome uh, color scheme. Like uh, what's her name? Orihime is uh, one of them. She has like a lot of like graphics and stuff too. Um, but I think she stands out in that regard because visually alone, like black and white is a very striking color combination. That not a lot of VTubers really capitalize on. Um, I like only know a handful that do like even include like white as like a big element. But I think black and white can look like really elegant together. <laughs> Delete them for you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if the chat's being weird or not. I know some people have said like on their own browser they've been having issues with the chat and stuff too. Like I forget who it was. Uh, a couple of streams ago they were saying like their whole like chat was acting up and they had like completely shut down their um they had to completely shut down their like uh, browser and open up again for the internet or the feed to be normal again. <laughs> I want to make my PNG, but I don't have time. You can always start with like a, like a P crew. That's what like a lot of people do. 
Um, you just have to make sure you find one that says like they're okay with like streaming usage and stuff, but Peeker is a good place to start for PNG until you uh, like have time to do what you want to do. And there's like pre-made models and stuff. I I'm like on the fence about pre-made models. I'm personally glad I never went that route. Um, I think I've talked about it on stream before. I think with pre-made you run the risk of like if a lot of people use a pre-made, like if it gets really big, even if it has like customizable elements, then you'll have a lot of people with like a similar kind of style and look out there. And then it kind of is just like, I think it gets hard to like distinguish which one can is like different and stuff. Stick figure, true, you may stick figure. The main reason I went with uh, somebody else is because clearly I would not be able to do it, uh, like draw, and then also you have to like cut the art a certain way for like VTubing. I don't know how to do that in the slightest. I'd be like SOL if I tried to do this myself, honestly. So I'm really glad I didn't do it by myself. Yeah. I'm really glad I found a uh, Mama Cyan in the Live 2D server. Because <laughs> I was like, I was trying to look around on like Twitter, and I was like, that's really hard to look for people to commission on Twitter because people are always hard to find on Twitter. Um, especially because like if you use the word commission, like the bots they come out of the woodworks. Um, so um, I'm really glad I found out about the Live 2D server. I don't even remember how I found out about the Live 2D server. I think when I was starting to do like my VTuber prep stuff, I was watching a bunch of videos on it. And I'm sure I'm sure it must have been in one of the videos that I watched that talked about the uh, live 2D server and stuff, and that's how I found out about it and joined it. <laughs> Revy linked me. Uh, yeah, like that's where I, I found um, Cyan and stuff. Um, it was before Cyan and Billa were part of the Fudo, which is like the studio they're part of now. Um, they were already working together, like Cyan even helped me get connected with Billa for like a rigor and stuff. Um, Cause like when I went to the live 2D server, I said something along the lines of, I know I'm looking to get my VTuber module. My budget is this. I have like a reference sheet. I also have like written lore, but I'd prefer to like only share that with like people that I'm more interested in like getting uh, work done with, et cetera, et cetera, sort of thing. Um, yeah, yeah, one of those things. Uh, the only issue I have with the live 2D server is you put out a call, your DMs are flooded. <laughs> Like I put out a call, I must have had like 40 plus people in my Discord DMs like being interested in working in my model. <laughs> I think it's obvious aliens built the pyramids. And he expect the really most powerful humanization when millions of people produce triangles. Exactly. And triangles on multiple parts of the planet at the same time, even though we weren't talking to each other, like in Mex like in South America, in Egypt. I think there's also pyramids in i can't remember if it's the oceana or southeast asia i can't remember what the other one was there's like the three big places where there's like triangles oof yeah that's the only thing with the live 2d i think there are some bots on the server too and like the hardest part was just being polite or finding a polite way to be like sorry i don't think your art is what i'm looking for that was pretty hard to find a polite way to say that without coming off as rude what i ended up doing is like yeah. don't you yeah don't do it no. <laughs> that one's good i like that one <laughs> If I know it's coming, I can set up some good ones. Um, is I ended up, it's probably really mean that I did this, but I ended up making like a copy paste uh, message and I like left it on like a sticky note on my desktop, like a, like a computer sticky note. So that way when people reached out to me, if I wasn't interested, I just like copy pasted my message and I was like, hello, thank you so much for reaching out. Um, I really appreciate that you're like interested in working with me. Um, after careful consideration, I do think I'm gonna move forward with somebody else slash keep my search going. Uh, but I'll definitely keep you in mind for like other future commissions. 
because I felt like that was the most polite thing to do. Have I reached out to anybody I said that to? No. <laughs> I know that's bad. But I think it's because there's so many artists on the live 2D server trying to get clients that it's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like blood in the water with the sharks. Pyramids are regarded as the easiest structure to make a monument, kind of like how every civilization starts with addition before they go deeper, deeper into the math. We don't like math, math yucky. Math yuck. Already knew my artist, fortunately, only joined the server later on for other stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, now that like VGen's a thing, if you're looking for other just like art commissions and stuff, I would recommend VGen. Um, I use them for uh, my schedule. VGen's basically just like a site where like artists can apply and it gets it all really organized. They've really like improved the site a lot. I like VGen. I used it for like the batch of emotes I have that's like the one peeking behind the wall and like the gun and the toxic one. Um, I, I like working with 88, uh, they have your character here emotes, they're pretty cheap and you can get like, I think it's like 6 for 60, pretty good deal. Um, and I got my panels down below on, on Twitch, those are from, um, Sasa, uh, that I found on VGen, and then my schedule was by Bear on VGen. And I've done other emotes and stuff through VGen. I've gotten some art, like that one of me is like the Persona 3 female protagonist, that art that I have, that I got through VGen. Um, like my mixing services and like my MV for my first cover, I found those through VGen and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I, I'm still a part of the Live 2D server, I just don't go back. <laughs> Because it's like, it's kind of overwhelming because there's just so many people in it and so many people, like if you put out a call, like you're just going to get flooded. You just have to be prepared to be flooded with people in your, uh, in your DMs, um, with a live 2D server. It's the only thing, kind of shucky. Get my goggles. Whit. 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 You know, they don't have to be perfect because I made them, so they can be kind of fucking. That's fine with me. They don't have to be perfect at all. Whoop. Whoop. Handmade with love. Whoop. Yeah, it's good. If I was feeling like I really wanted this to be perfect, I'd probably bring out the circle tool and stuff. But again, they don't have to be perfect. I made them. They can be kind of fucky. I use VGen for different things now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I probably, though, the most, like the site I use the most is definitely Scab. Enjoy drawing fan art review. It'd be uh fun. Yeah, it'd be fun. Oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my tanks. I technically have. You can't really tell, but like in my uh my I technically my ears are pierced. Uh, are they actually? Oh, I have ears on this model. That's what. <laughs> technically, on my sheet I sent Cyan, I have a lot of ear piercings too. I got like the bar one that's like at the top of the ear and everything. But clearly, you can't see it, but it's okay. Not going no ears. No ears. I never use VGen until a friend asks. I usually just contact people directly or order from coffee. Mm -hmm. I know coffee is a big one that people use for like commissions and stuff too. Um, I started using VGen, I think VGen like started like a few months before I ended up debuting, which was kind of like a happy coincidence, so that's how I found, um, like I said, like my schedule person and my panel person and stuff. VGen's really seamless. They really also improved like the categories, categories, categories. So they're like easier to find. So if you're looking specifically, like for example, for somebody to do uh, 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 like if you want somebody for like a mouse pad, like you can search specifically like for artists that are doing like mouse pad designs 
or just like other illustrations in general. It's a pretty handy little site. I, I like BGen. It's not perfect. I mean, this is gonna be perfect. Don't laugh at my baldness. Don't you dare. Don't laugh at my lack of earness. But I like it. I like it. My most used site though probably is still Scab. <laughs> And even then, I don't use Skeb as much as some people, but I am definitely a Skeb, Skeb friend for sure. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Whatever. Oh, but yeah, I usually use Skeb the most. It's because of, it's like it's because of the cost. Like Skeb is a fraction of the cost of like other commissions. So obviously, like from a money perspective. I do like money and I like to save money, so I do go to Skeb. I also haven't really been disappointed in anything I've gotten in, uh, from Skeb yet. I, I've liked everything I've gotten from Skeb. It's all pretty good. I'm gonna be real lazy again. I'm all asshole this guy. I'm gonna copy him, paste him, and then move him over here. Oh. And move him over here. I'm gonna go whack. Go whack. I like to tilt them a little, make them look a little more. Yeah, we're gonna cheat a little again. That's fine. If I don't cheat, this is never getting done. So. <laughs> I kind of do need to cheat a little. It's not cheating, but I'm not like fully doing it all. My selfie. It means I'm at least probably gonna get the line art done tonight. Let's see, and then we're gonna merge with the layer below. Nice. Okay, we don't have too, too much left actually. All right, Captain hitting the hay, thanks for stream. Okay, so it's have a good night. Bye bye. I'm hoping to finish soon, cause I'm getting tired too. I got the most like complicated detail stuff done at least. Like the, there was a lot of stuff that was like gonna be pretty complicated for my smooth brain. So at least most of that's done. When in doubt, just add folds. It makes it look more fancy. And like I know what I'm doing, which I really know. There you go. I'll make that there. A great die. Yeah, try my best. Try my best. I feel like I am still way stronger of a drawer, like on pen and paper. And again, part of that's because I don't use my tablet nearly enough to be really comfortable with it. Um, but I also think part of it is just because that's how I grew up drawing. So I'm just like more comfortable with pen and paper in general. Like I feel like I'm just a stronger on pen and paper. So that's why a lot of times, like I said, I'll just draw it and then I'll take a picture or I'll scan it and then I'll like line art it if I really want to on my um, computer. Okay, what's this hair done? It's my big old fat head down here. The cost of my tablet? I, I don't know. It was a gift when I was younger. I think I've tried to look at my tablet. Like they don't make my tablet anymore. It's a Wacom Intuitus 4 but it's like an old ass one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so people are selling it used on eBay for like, <laughs> like fifty bucks. So uh, it's also less precise on tablets. Well, like I've always wanted to upgrade to like a tablet with a screen because I always thought one of the big things holding me back—I don't even know if it's true—would be like 
being able to look at what I'm drawing while I'm drawing it or with a tablet, mine doesn't have a screen. It's a lot, it's different because like I'm drawing, but I have to look at my computer screen versus like looking physically at what I'm drawing, which is that kind of harder. So if you want this one for no, with no pen on eBay, it's 50 bucks. <laughs> I think the new versions of this, because they're like Bluetooth and like all the fancy stuff, like the new ones are like in the 250 to 350 range. But my old ass version of this, that still works fine too. Like it has like glitches here and there, but I think because again, I didn't like heavily use it. He's still chugging along, right? Um, uh, he's like, like 50 bucks right now probably but a lot of people now too they have like an ipad and they'll do like procreate through the ipad and stuff so they have like a touch screen tablet kids these days they don't know how easy they have it oh my little antenna thingies aren't that big not really antennas but whatever I also can't feel what you're doing as well. Yeah, yeah. So like, it, it's just a different thing. It's just like one of those things to you gotta get used to. And obviously I'm not used to it still. I was more used to it probably when I was younger, when I was in those RP groups. Because <laughs> then I would draw a lot more. I felt like I really developed as an artist, unironically, in those RP groups. Use iPads these days. Used to work with an old Wacom, Wacom for a normal ass sketchbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's still something important to learn, like about being a traditional artist. I don't think it's anything that needs to like go away 100%. Um, I think it's fine if you do like uh, digital art, but I do think you just gotta also keep uh, the traditional kind of medium in mind okay here i just go crazy what no i can't see what is it i'm so sorry i heard it is that a bitty am i biting thing i'm coming in i'm coming in i'm so sorry i don't know what's going on with the alerts today no okay wait let me oh i can do this and what hates me? Oh no, what did Automod say no to you for? Automod's so stinky. I don't know why he's like this. I don't know why, uh. Meme time. Is it meme time? No. Why is it not even telling me in the, the activity feed? Who? Huh? What happened? I don't know what happened. Oh wait, wait. Scroll. Wait. I mean, look at this. Let's go down. Uh, okay, well, can I make this smaller? I want to see what... Why can't I scroll down? I see something, but I can't see it. I hate this thing. No, I should have a panel. Should I do that now? Why not go in here? Oh my god. I still use Wacom even uh, when I can't draw on a screen, I have good eye hand coordination. See, yeah, I think if I played with it more, I could be like stronger at the hand eye coordination. That's a big thing. Okay, let me try looking at my phone because on my computer, it wasn't showing me what the bloop was. Trying to lurk. That wasn't a lurk sound. Guys, what happened? If somebody did something nice, I want to tell you, Danko. That sounded like a bit sound, but it's not showing up in my activity. Why? Oh, I don't know why I'm mean, like to being stinky bottles. Thank you for whatever it was. I'm so sorry. 151 subs. Oh, wow. Thank you, whoever with 151 subs. I'm so sorry. I don't know why the stream elements hates everybody. Let's go 151. Should I send a pic of my fan in the sky? Yeah, yeah, you can put it in Discord. I don't, I, so, cause I simul stream, uh, it could be like YouTube stuff doesn't show up in the Twitch chat for you guys. So if it's a t YouTube thing, then 
that's probably why you guys don't see it um but yes yeah, so for fan art of me watashi there's the uh ak fan art channel you can put it in there we go now it's in my chat i'm so sorry thank you so much for joining the crowdfish family emmett remus thank you thank, thank you it's severely delayed on my end <laughs> i don't know why it was so delayed i think i know why Autobot hates me. I don't. I just. Autobot sometimes will like bonk for things like saying butt. Like, it gets a butt. Don't be mean, Autobot. Everybody likes butt. Of course you want to talk about butt. Butt's the greatest thing that was ever invented. Of course you want to talk about butts. <laughs> And then it kind of like, then it tapers off down the neck. And it comes like, Wee -wee. I have more fruit and soda. No! Eat healthy. At least make a sandwich to go with it or something. I think this thing it just like continues to live, doesn't it? That's fine with me, whatever. It says it's Twitch and streamer friendly. That's all that really matters. And then it's not just silence or my BGM, which is like two and a half minutes, just on repeat constantly. <laughs> Alright, I'll say I'll do this side of the face. I go like wee, and I go like wee, and I go like wee. Mm. No, I have a look. No shit, I got a gun. Oh fuck. I should always have a gun. They should give me guns all the time. Oh my god, thank you. Let me put a what kind of oh here, I have a gun in my It works really good. Go clack clack clack. Maybe one day I'll get to a point where I can color my art. <laughs> That's probably not happening on the stream, but thank you so much, team. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no, it's uh, too far down with the little minis. Oh my god, my brain, I don't even know what I want to do with my art hands no more. Now I got a head, finally done. 17 hours later. I'm spoiling myself because I deadlifted 740 pounds. Oh, from 10 essays, I created a new video. That's a lot of weight. A lot. A lot of weight. Yeah, we're gonna do the scam. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry about the scam. I'm not gonna show on my hands today because I don't feel like it. Oh, that's not where that's supposed to go. Where did my hands go? Nobody knows, really. I actually don't look too bad. I'm gonna leave that for sure. I will draw the glove to give the illusion that my hand is still here in some capacity.
Okay, just gotta get the other hand done a little bit. Oh, there's pant details. Oh, no. There's pant details I missed. No. I'll come back to the dumpy guys. Don't freak out. I'm gonna make the thumbnail for this on YouTube. My amalgamation of shit drawings that we had before. <laughs> That's good enough. I'm at the point where I just kind of want to get it done now. <laughs> if I come back in color, I'm going to ignore everything about it that I'm not happy with because uh, it's a smart thing to do. It's like one of my longer streams. tablet will be going back in its box though just because I don't really have anywhere on my desk area for it to hang out. So when and if we do another art stream she will come back out but she will probably be going back to bed in her box. Okay just gotta figure out this arm and then we're, and we're free! We're free! Look, we're definitely not calling this tonight. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't got the energy for that. Yeah, that's good enough. I had a whole cute idea for a pose and everything, but it's clearly not gonna happen. That's fine. I know my limits. Do you know yours? Saving. I'm just gonna cut my hand off down here. Had a way better perspective of my I think it's still pretty good. I mean like that was one of the things I was always scared of when I was a kid doing art was like trying different things. Like 90% of my drawings as a kid were unironically, even in the RP group for a while, I was hand behind back standing emoji. <laughs> But then I started to try to do different things. It's still hand hidden. Like, I think I remember one of the things I did to branch out was I had a character with long hair. So I tried to, like, show my character, like, braiding their hair. So I thought that was pretty ambitious. But, like, doing different perspectives and stuff, like, that's very, very hard, especially, like, as a beginner. It's pretty intimidating to, like, try different perspectives and things like that or different angles. Because, like, once you learn how to draw just straight up, you're like, oh, I'm, like, the best. But then you're like, oh, I do have to learn how to draw at different angles. <laughs> but I like this the whole meme. Like, most people say artists draw, like, front on or, like, draw, like, a, like a three-fourths. <laughs> There's not a lot of people that draw, like, full side profiles. Three-fourths would be more like, uh, like that. Yeah. That's yeah, the whole meme is most people draw. Like, this is technically, I think, even three-fourths what I drew, kind of, sort of. Oh, I think they were pretty freaking good. Like, I feel like as a kid I was more adventurous with stuff. I wish I had that kind of uh, adventurous nature when it came to art like, that I had when I was younger. Or like the drive that I had when I was younger with art, because I used to have like crazy drive. Like I, I pumped out like a, like a fucking like five page comic for this RP group, or not, sorry, not five page. It was a five panel, one page comic for this RP group because, like, it was Blue Exorcist themed, and so we had, like, a homework assignments we had to do to, like, gain points to, like, level up to the different, like, tiers of Blue Exorcistness. I forget what all the tiers are, even though I like the series. Um, and I made, like, a five panel comic for this RP group. <laughs> like, 
I think unironically it helped me a lot. And then I joined other RP groups because of it. None of them like ever did as much for me as the Blue Exorcist one though. I think it's it, guys. I think I'm done. Is it? Oh, I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> Wait, I gotta have eyebrows. It's kind of awkward not to have eyebrows. I kept putting them off because I wasn't happy with how they were turning out. Yeah, that will be done after I get the eyebrows. Too much. foggy for not drawing on my tablet in a while and not drawing in general in a while. We're gonna ignore all the mistakes. We're gonna ignore the hidden hands. I think that's pretty pogalicious. Oh yoki, I'm done. See all of you guys get out of me today. Let's see, actually, can I use my stylus to close out? Oh. Okay. Let me see. Let me go ahead and pull up Twatch and see if there is anybody that we're gonna raise pray good hey try my best i'll post all the doodles on uh twitter and stuff in a little bit i feel like blue exes should have been a lot longer and uh, really potential i mean there's more so there's the first season but you stop at like the last six episodes you don't watch the last six episodes of the first season <laughs> and then after that then you do there's season two which is the kyoto arc there's technically a movie but it's not canon and then this last season, they just released the Illuminati arc, or the start of the Illuminati arc? I forget what this one's called. And that just finished, and they've already confirmed there's like another season coming out. So there's more Blue Exorcist, and the manga comes out still, but it had a pretty big hiatus for a while. And I think it's a monthly release manga, so it doesn't come out all the time. But I mean, new anime is still coming out for it. There's a lot of older series that are getting anime again. It's pretty nice. He's trying to try my best. Try my darndest. I just see if it's anybody on the hook. Why would there ever be anybody on? Okay, I'm not even brave enough. I'm not brave enough to raid Meriwether. Are you crazy? Absolutely not. I'm still not brave enough to raid uh, big art people. That it got canceled? No, the manga's still coming out. It just like, usually what happens if you don't hear from a manga for a while, it's best to just Google if it's on hiatus. Cause like probably nine out of 10 times it's on hiatus versus getting canceled. Time to be brave. Oh, I'm not raiding Mary mother. That's crazy. I'm not raiding Mary. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Feel stupid reading with one viewer. There's no like problem with reading in general. Like as long, you know what? I think people like, get if people get upset with you for reading just because you have like a smaller read number, I think that says something about that person you're reading more than it does you. I think the fact that like a person is willing to trust their community with you, like people should be happy with that. Rating is appreciated. It's like, yeah, yeah. I have to go check out the new stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Kyoto, which I think is like only like 11 episodes. And then the newest season just finished. And I think the next season is like either later this year or early next year. Well, I think we won't raid tonight. I think I'll raid Meriwether. That's scary. Nobody I unfollow is on right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna read, especially because he's on his subathon. That means there are even more eyes there. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not that brave. Maybe one day I'll be brave. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna go to bed after uh, we end up stream today. But thank you guys so much for coming hanging out. My first art stream. I hope you guys had a good time. We'll probably do more eventually. Uh, but we'll see. Can I wreck somebody? You can. I just I like to go check out people and see what their vibes are. Father, I crave cheddar. Well, we're all out. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. 
You can like give me somebody and I can go click and see if I, I like their I like the cut of their 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 G as the kids say. Go ahead and turn off pits and mix it up so don't claim anything. So go ahead and try to play the knife for that. Oh, 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 let me go vibe check. I can, like work with it. Was he working hard? What are you rolling? What are you working on? FM Aerials Cosmos LDs? Oh, that. Oh, I talked now. Oh, give me a sec. I gotta get the raid set up. Oh, I don't have my mouse pad. I have a piece of paper under my mouse. I will probably dump and run, kiddos, because I am a sleepy gamer. Oh god. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. It was lots of fun. The doodle. That was fun. I'll post the doodles, like I said, on Twitter and probably in the Discord. Uh, but uh, next time I'm going to stream is going to be Thursday. So we'll play more Bioshock. I am going to go down in difficulty because I am not having fun right now. And I don't think it's fun to watch me not having fun. <laughs> We're gonna do that Thursday at 8 p.m. PST, and then more Persona Friday at 8 p.m. PST as well. Um, and then at some point, like I've said, I will pick a week and we'll just play more, just all Persona, just to keep making more progress. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys ever want to know what I'm up to, feel free to follow me on all of my socials. I got Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, Twitch, and YouTube, where I simul stream every single time I stream. Um, and the Discord server, if there's ever a change uh, to the schedule, feel free to check it out. My Twitter and Discord, those are the places I update most often about schedule changes. Always care, and then I'm probably gonna uh, go to the bed. No, 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 I'm kind of tired. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Be nice to Puma. Um, oh, any type of raid message works. I like to do the pop almost. It says pop, 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 pop. So whatever works. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Not the double peaky, no, I want the three pop because it looks better with three. Uh, but yes, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later.